सर वी आर लाइव नाउ ओके हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई होप आई हैव नॉट कॉल्ड यू अर्ली इफ माय ऑडियो वीडियो इज क्लियर काइंडली इंडिकेट इन द ऐप चैट बॉक्स आल्सो आल्सो वी आर बीइंग जॉइंड ऑन यूट्यूब बाय आर फ्रेंड्स ऑन यूट्यूब आल्सो सो यूट्यूब आल्सो फ्रेंड्स इन केस माय वॉइस ऑडियो वीडियो स्क्रीन एवरीथिंग इज क्लियर डू लेट मी नो गुड मॉर्निंग डॉक्टर स्वनित डॉक्टर सुभाष डॉक्टर स्पायरो डॉक्टर सैम डॉक्टर जयसुली डॉक्टर अर्जुन काश अंकित डॉक्टर एंथुसियास्ट यस दिस इज वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग वेरी ब्यूटीफुल मॉर्निंग एंड हैप्पी न्यू ईयर टू एवरी वन आई होप दिस न्यू ईयर एक्चुअली टर्न आउट हैप्पी फॉर ईच वन ऑफ अस बिकॉज वी हैव टू क्लियर द एग्जाम राइट एंड वी विल क्लियर द एग्जाम नो वन विल बी एबल टू स्टॉप इट and definitely we are going to make it big this time right friends okay friends we'll be just starting let's wait for few more students to join us both on youtube and in the app how is your preparation going just 2 minutes we'll be starting okay preparation is going good according to everyone very nice okay let's wait for few more minutes just keep your calm in the exam friends yes everyone wishes we have more than 24 hours but dr sachin don't worry this is enough time easily you will clear the exam thank you dr abhinandan abhinandan to you thank you dr garima choudhary good morning i am absolutely fine dr alam khan don't worry dr to be not able to revise properly focus on your notes see for psm psm i can tell you this is i think the first second third fifth time we are revising together for fmj exam first you did from the main videos then you did from the quick revision videos then we have mission fmj videos where we covered live lecture in 6 to 7 days then we had another revision phase 2 where we revised psm over two days and today we will revise complete psm in 5 hours so this is the fifth time we are collaborating with each other for clearing the exam also in between we had two examinations and discussions live on the app also so let us hope that it benefits to all of you again i'll tell you that i'll not try to impress you by giving you difficult questions your exam comes moderate level where psm is relatively okay so that should be kept in mind if there are 30 questions of psm then 25 have to be attempted correctly if there are 35 questions then 28 questions have to be attempted correctly right friends so let us start now thank you dr prathor pushkar i am also a fan of each one of you so friends let us start see i have designed today's session in such a way that we are able to have a look at the whole course in a structured way how i have covered the whole course in main videos also quick revision videos also mission live sessions also and this also will be followed in the same sequence right once we do the complete course revision in 5 hours at the end i will tell you more things few more maybe tips if it can help you in clearing the exam so hello friends i am dr vivek jain let us start today's session one of the important subjects for fmg psm marathon session under mission fmg 200 plus all students who are attempting or attending this session you have to clear the exam and you will be able to clear good luck so let us start with first topic that is epidemiology so friends epidemiology generally we get one two to three questions so let us look at a marathon quick revision of that can you tell me which study design is shown in this image i'll also keep my mobile in front of me so that i can have a look in the youtube chat box also so friends you can keep on replying in the chat box of youtube also yes video will remain in app also and in the youtube channel also yes but try to revise side by side because that is exactly like exam very right this is a 
cohort study. Now, friends, why this is a cohort study? Let's look at that. See, you can see there are two groups exposed. Let us say like smokers and not exposed, non-smokers. Then look at the direction of the arrow. So Dr. Arpit, Dr. Abnijha, Malika Paruri, Paturi, you are right. Dr. Abhishek Kumar Pandey, you are also right. Direction is going forward. Now, what do you get from cohort study? You are going from exposure to disease. So you will get incidence in exposed, incidence in non-exposed. Let's make it a totally interactive session like I always do. What is the strength of association in a cohort study given by? How do you calculate results? Strength, strength of association in a cohort study is given by? Yes, relative risk. And a popular question of FMG exam, what is the formula of relative risk? Yes, absolutely right. That is incidence in exposed divided by incidence in non-exposed. You are right, Dr. Pulkit, Dr. Drishya, Dr. Yogesh, Dr. Asmita. Okay, YouTube, there is a small lag. YouTube, there is a small lag of around 10, 15 seconds, I feel. So Dr. Alam Khan, Dr. Medico 30, all of you are right. Now, relative risk, incidence in exposed divided by incidence in non-exposed. If it comes more than one, what is your interpretation? Association is present. So if relative risk between smoking lung cancer, suppose comes eight. Association is present between smoking lung cancer, how much? Eight times. Smokers have eight times higher association with lung cancer as compared to non-smokers. In simple words, smokers have eight times relatively higher risk of development of lung cancer as compared to non-smoker. This is the reason relative risk is also known as risk ratio. If by chance it comes equal to one, milk consumption, lung cancer, no association. Absolutely right, Dr. Ashwarya, Dr. Yogesh. Friends, all of you are just in the revision phase. No need to write until unless you find something which you don't know. You can write, otherwise just keep on revising with me. Relative risk equal to one, no association. Milk consumption neither increase nor decrease the chances of lung cancer. So relative risk is one. And if by chance relative risk comes less than one, many times in a hurry, in students in exam FMG mark that relative risk less than means no association. This is also an association. Less than one means it is association, but it is inverse or negative association. Inverse or negative association means Risk factor is protective or beneficial against the disease. Take an example of vitamin A intake and epithelial cancer. Relative risk comes less than one. Now, friends, in some of your recent examinations, they give you a cohort study and ask you which will be the two groups you will take for this study design. So always please remember in a cohort study, group one will be exposed to risk factor, group two will be not exposed to risk factor. Then you go in a forward direction. No, relative risk cannot be in minus Dr. Brijesh. It will be less than one in decimals equal to one or more than one. So please remember, always go in a forward direction. So it is also known as prospective study, cost to effect study, follow-up study. And which is the most popular cohort study? And what was the age group of participants in that, friends? Most popular cohort study. Yes, Dr. Abhishek, Dr. Pulkit, you are right. It was Framingham Heart Study. And which age group was used in Framingham Heart Study? Framingham Heart Study. Age group used was Dr. Pulkit is right. Dr. Asmita Samarwal, you are also right on YouTube. 32, 62 years of age, coronary heart disease incidence was evaluated once every two years in this study. So this was done for coronary artery disease, coronary heart disease, we can say. Yes, Dr. Ajay Prasad, you are right. It started in 1948 in USA. Framingham is the name of the town where this was started. So cohort study, you should know study design, relative risk formula, Interpretation of more than one, equal to one, less than one. This is the minimum to maximum we have to know. Now let us move further. 
Now friends, can you tell me what exactly is this? Which study design is depicted in this particular study? Yes, Dr. Harjit, YouTube, actually there is a lag of around 10 to 15 seconds. There is a lag. App usually is in, in real time. Yes, let's start reading what is shown in the image. You have one group cases having the disease. Second group controls. This is your first clue. Second clue, study starts with disease and non-disease. Then we are looking backward also. We are going from disease to exposure. We are going in a backward direction, retrospective. Very right, Dr. Arpit, Dr. Alam Khan, Dr. Ajay Prasad, Dr. Asiya, Dr. Ted K. This is our case control study. Now, can you tell me, how do we calculate strength of association in a case control study and what is the formula? Strength of association in cohort study is relative risk. But here we don't have incidence, so we rely on odds ratio and odds ratio is given by the formula. Yes, Dr. Abhishek, Dr. Prakash, Dr. Bridgehorn, you are right, AD by BC. Yes, Dr. Ajay Prasad, Dr. Moinuddin, Pradhani, Dr. Hasta Lugo, you are right. Dr. Abhinandan, Dr. Fezan, all of you are right, friends. This is AD by BC. Now, this is also strength of association, but without incidence. So, its interpretation is just like relative risk. Odds ratio may come more than one, equal to one, less than one. Odds ratio more than one, association is present, equal to one, no association is present, and less than one, it is inverse or negative association, it, it is protective. No, Dr. Manish, it's not prevalence. Prevalence is neither found from incidence nor from case. Prevalence is neither found from cohort study nor from case control. It is mainly found from cross-sectional study. Please remember Dr. Manish. Yes, all of you are right. Dr. Heman, Dr. CP, Dr. Abhinandan, Dr. Harjit. It is AD divided by BC. This we have to remember. Now, friends, understanding the concept is not just sufficient. You should be prepared for how the question may come in a calculatory form also. Look at this. Calculate the strength of association in the case control study. So friends, I'm looking at chat box in the app also. I'm looking at the YouTube also chat box simultaneously. Can you calculate answer to this question? Yes, I've started getting the right answer in the app. Dr. Pankaj, Dr. Subhash, Dr. Gurja, Dr. Thara, Dr. Drishya, Dr. Bridge, Dr. J, Dr. Vasio, wow, everyone is right. I'm looking at YouTube also. Yes, Dr. Medico, you are right. Absolutely. Dr. Nidhi Sharma, you are right. Dr. Ajay Prasad, you are right. Dr. Nikhal Mani Tripathi, you are right. Dr. Hastali, absolutely. So friends, how to solve this question? Rough sheet is not given, so you'll have to presume in the mind it is two by two table. This is A, this is B, C and D. We have just discussed formula of odds ratio is AD by BC. So simply you have to do A into D divided by B into C. A into D divided by B into C. So odds ratio of this study is 2. Interpretation, association is present. How much? Two times. So lung cancer patients will have two times higher chances of giving or odds of giving a history of asbestos exposure as compared to healthy people. Yes, Dr. Bhaskar ji, you are right. Dr. Mayank, Doc Euro, Vicky Bond, Dr. Arpit, you are also right. Absolutely. Friends. So this is good to see. Cohort study, case control study. Remember recently there have been some questions in your paper where they have asked in a case control study, what are the two groups you choose? So you have to remember one group having the disease, one group without the disease. So cases and controls are the two groups you have to choose for a case control study. Now we come to the parameter that Dr. Manshi mentioned in the, what is prevalence study? What is prevalence study? Yes, this is 
क्रॉस सेक्शनल स्टडी फ्रेंड्स नॉन एनोटेटेड पीडीएफ इज अवेलेबल इन दी सेरिबेलम चैनल ऑन यू दिस टेलीग्राम सो यू कैन यूज दैट आल्सो नो प्रेवलेंस स्टडी इज आल्सो नोन एज प्रेवलेंस स्टडी यस डॉक्टर चिरंजीव डॉक्टर अंकित गुर्जर यू आर राइट प्रेवलेंस स्टडी इज आल्सो नोन एज स्नैपशॉट स्टडी कोहार्ट स्टडी इज इंसिडेंट स्टडी प्रेवलेंस स्टडी इज क्रॉस सेक्शनल now friends okay the lower part of the screen is cut because when we use software sometime these things happen what was question asked was what is a horizontal study it's a very old question of fmg paper only horizontal and vertical studies this study should i include in horizontal studies friends yes horizontal studies means studies having a direction either forward or backward so this will include cohort and case control studies then what are vertical studies vertical studies are without a direction they are neither forward nor backward they are done at a point of time so this will include cross sectional and ecological study cross sectional and ecological study right so friends please remember if they ask you by its other name longitudinal studies longitudinal studies are horizontal or vertical longitudinal studies i am looking at both the chat box simultaneously longitudinal studies dr drishya dr gurjar dr pulkit you are right dr j you are also right dr abhishek you are right longitudinal studies are i am looking at the app yes dr medico you are right horizontal so studies having a direction are longitudinal as compared to vertical studies without a direction non longitudinal study all of us know longitudinal studies are better than non longitudinal so cohort is better than case control because relative risk is better than odds ratio odds ratio odds ratio is based on recall bias so there may be some error in history better than cross sectional better than ecological okay dr nayan general fmg they don't ask but if they ask you in a cohort study when we discussed this relative risk actually it has three strands of association only one is asked in fmg relative risk otherwise there is attributable risk and population attributable risk also this is generally asked in pg papers but just to tell you attributable risk meaning you should know attributable risk mean how much disease can be attributed to risk factor how much of the disease can be attributed to risk factor incidence in exposed minus incidence in non exposed upon incidence in exposed into 100 so incidence in exposed minus incidence in non exposed upon exposed into 100 it's simple meaning attributable risk how much of the disease can be attributed to risk factor if it comes 80% 80% of the disease can be attributed to smoking 80% of the disease is attributable to smoking 20% occurs due to some other risk factor right yes dr chiranjeev is right population attributable risk is if you eliminate risk factor how much reduction of incidence of disease will occur but that is generally asked in pg papers for calculations let's move further what is heart of a randomized controlled trial see randomized controlled trial friends have three important parameters one is technique of randomization second is the comparison or the controlled group and third is the trial which is most important which is most important no dr medico retrospective cohort study has never been asked in your fmg paper till now so don't read about retrospective nested case control meta analysis systematic reviews they are meant for pg exams please remember heart of rct most important dr medico is right dr j is right dr bridge bhan singh is right dr abhishek you are right it is randomization see controlled or comparison group is important trial of the new drug or vaccine is important but technique of randomization is most important this we have to remember 
Now, friends, what does randomization do? Older FMG question. What is the purpose of randomization in RCT? What does randomization do? Yes, Dr. Smile has answered correctly. I am also looking at YouTube, friends. Dr. CP, yes, Dr. Medico, you are right. It helps in removal of selection bias. In our main videos, quick revision videos and mission videos, we have discussed biases in detail. Biases are systematic errors. One of the investigatory type of bias is selection bias that is removed by randomization. If by chance in your paper, you are right, Dr. Moinuddin, Dr. Multistar also, you are right. Randomization also helps in removal of confounding. Therefore, randomization becomes better than blinding or matching. Randomization ensures similar prognostic factors in both the groups. So both the groups are comparable when you start a randomized control trial. Now friends, when we look at unit of study, unit of study means a study is done on whom and on whom the results are applicable. So if I look at your FMG exam questions, we have been asked unit of study for descriptive studies, cohort study, case control, cross-sectional, ecological, randomized control trial. So let us look at unit of studies in these. Descriptive study are used for making a hypothesis. So Dr. Bridge Bhansing, absolutely right. Dr. FMG aspirant, you are right. Population is the unit of study. When we look at four analytical studies, cohort, case control, cross-sectional, ecological, then we have to know cohort, case control, cross-sectional. Here, the unit of study is same individual. But in fourth analytical study, which is used for testing hypothesis, ecological study, Dr. Shamshed Singh, you are right. Unit of study is population. And in a randomized control trial, friends, what is the unit of study in a randomized control trial? Community, no. Dr. Thara, Dr. Arpita is right. Dr. Pervez is right. Yes, Dr. Medico is right. In randomized control trial, trial you are testing a new drug. So this is patient as the unit of study. So neither individual nor population patients are used as a unit of study. Now, when we look at clinical trial, trial is also done on patients. But phase one, the unit of study is healthy human volunteer. When we look at phase two, three and four, it is patients. Patients, patients, patients. And what is the unit of study in phase zero, friends? What is the unit of study in phase zero? Animals, no. See, animals is before clinical trials. Those are preclinical trials. Phase zero is also clinical trial. Yes, it is again healthy human volunteers in a very small number. Now, friends, quickly, can you write in chat box? What is the purpose of all the five phases? So I'm trying to mix all the questions from all the FMG exams of last 20 years now. What is the purpose of phase zero, phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four? Yes, many of us are writing correctly. Dr. Athor, Pushkar, you are right. Phase one is micro dosing. Giving the drug in one tenth of the dose to a very small number of healthy human volunteers. What is the purpose of phase one of a clinical trial? Phase one is for safety and non-toxicity. Phase two will tell you efficacy. Phase three. What will phase three tell us, friends? This is the question where maximum FMG students go wrong. So I want to look at both the chat boxes simultaneously. 
No, it's not for confirmation of efficacy. You can do confirm efficacy, but what is the major purpose of phase three? Yes, it is a comparison with existing drug. Your drug is efficacious, but if it is not better in, than the existing drug in the market, how will you launch in the market? So a new drug is launched in the market after phase three. If it is in a comparison RCT, it is found better than the existing drugs. And what is the purpose of phase four? It is used for both long-term side effects, rare side effects. But if I have to mark single answer, it is used for long-term side effects or rare side effects, single answer. It is long-term side effects. So which of them is most important phase of a clinical trial? Most important phase of a clinical trial is phase three because it is a randomized controlled trial comparison with the existing drug. Your drug has to clear phase three to see market. Post marketing surveillance is done in phase four. See answer is in the name itself. Surveillance of side effects after marketing the drug. Where do we look at MTD maximum tolerated dose? Maximum tolerated dose, Dr. Arpita, Dr. Moin, Dr. Patel, Dr. Lavinia, all of you are right. Maximum tolerated dose of a drug is in phase one. Maximum tolerated dose is in phase one. Right? Yes, Dr. Medico, you are right. Dr. Ajay Prasad, Dr. Arpit Dongre, you are right. Phase one, Dr. Fezan, you are right. Maximum failure is seen in which phase, friends? Maximum failure of a drug in the world is actually found in phase two. Maximum failure. Right? So this is about trials. Now, friends, as I was telling you, just reading the theory is not sufficient. You have been practicing questions so long. So could you please tell me answer to this question? Read the question. A hard study undertaken to study association between green tea intake and obesity. So now we can see here green tea intake is the exposure and obesity is the outcome. And a hard study relative risk is 0 0.65. So what will be your interpretation choice number? A, B, C, or D. Yes, relative risk more than one, relative risk equal to one, relative risk less than one. So this is relative risk less than one. So it is protective. Green tea consumption decreases the risk of obesity. Right? If it comes equal to one, green tea consumption is not associated with risk of obesity. If it comes more than one, Green tea consumption increases the risk of obesity. So simple questions will be there. Read the question properly. Mark the answer correctly. Right? So Dr. Nidhi Sharma, you are right. Dr. Mansi Madhvi, you need to correct your answer. Equal to one has no effect. Less than one is reduction, protective, inverse association. This we have to remember. Dr. Medija, Dr. Farooq Khan, you are right. Dr. Shamim Shami, you are right. Absolutely, friends. Let's move further. An intern has to study relationship between aniline dye exposure. So this is the exposure and development of bladder cancer. So you can see aniline dye exposure is the risk factor. Bladder cancer is the outcome. Now examiner is looking at a case control study, which will be the two groups which should be used. So friends, you tell me which choice is correct. Some are saying C, some are saying D. We have just discussed, friends, you have to read the question carefully. C or D? Friends, correct answer is C. I am surprised to see that 50% of students are wrong when they are marking D. Why? Look at the question I just told you. This is a case control study. So you need 
cases and controls then you will go in a backward direction and ask history of aniline dye exposure this is a case control study if it was a cohort study then your answer will be d if it is a cohort study then you will take aniline dye factory workers non aniline exposed people then you follow them up for 10 20 years then incidence of bladder cancer will occur so please be very careful with these type of questions they are simple questions case control study starts with cases and controls cohort study starts with exposed and non exposed group of people right if you are doing a mistake here actually i am a bit happy because then i am sure you will not do the mistake in the main exam that is more important right so doing a mistake in this session is absolutely fine nothing to worry just read the question carefully in the exam there are no calculations read the question try to memorize revise the concept in your mind let's move further now friends vaccines cold chain generally in your paper gives minimum 1 to 2 sometimes 3 questions so let's look at that in open vial policy you can use vaccines up to how much time open vial policy we can use vaccines up to is it 28 hours is it 28 days is it 6 months or is it 24 hours yes it is 28 days so what does open vial policy tell us it says if your vaccines are following open vial policy if some doses are left in the vial and vaccine vial is maintained in correct cold chain temperature you can take out the vial in the next session and use it again some doses are left again you can put in the cold chain again use it again so you are right this is open vial policy now the questions of your exam for which vaccines open vial policy is applicable it is applicable for t series of vaccines t series of vaccines are dpt dt tt td also t series of vaccines include hepatitis b hepatitis b hepatitis b dr vikash kumar pande pdfs don't help us still all non annotated all annotated pdfs of cerebellum academy live sessions everything is available on the cerebell uh, cerebellum channel on the telegram group right pdfs we never open again but you attend the session you will 100% benefit right then beside these vaccines it is also applicable dr tanuj kaliya you are right dr adnan j okay killed vaccine you can say you are partly right it is also applicable on opv ipv it is also applicable on liquid pentavalent which includes haemophilus influenza b vaccine what about rota viral vaccine friends what about rota viral vaccine friends is op open vial policy applicable not applicable rota viral vaccine it is not applicable what about pneumococcal conjugate vaccine it is applicable so when we look at vaccines where it is not applicable this includes lyophilized vaccines freeze dried vaccines bcg measles mr mmr also it is not applicable on rota viral vaccine japanese and kephalitis vaccine what about covid vaccines covid vaccines is open vial policy applicable not applicable it is not applicable so covid 19 vaccines it is not applicable now friends specific vaccines are asked in the paper one of them which may be asked is this type strain dosing route also what is not seen in the pdf is site and 
USP of this vaccine. So quickly revise with me as I go through this topic. Type, this is a killed vaccine. Any point you are revising wrong, please correct it. Make a note in your notes itself. Strain. I am expecting strain of Covaxin will be asked in your upcoming exam. What is the strain of this? Dr. Arjun is right. It is NIV 2020-770. This vaccine has been manufactured by Bharat Biotech. BB152 is the other name of Covaxin. Now friends, when we look at dosing, all the vaccines, barring nasal vaccine, is 0.5 ml each, two doses. Gap in Covaxin between two doses is four to six weeks. Intramuscular deltoid. And what is the unique feature of this vaccine? Unique feature. I'm looking at the answer. Yes, Dr. Surana Shinidhi, you are right. It is India's first 100% indigenous vaccine for COVID in the country. Now, can you, I ask you another question? 100% indigenous. One more COVID vaccine has been in India. One is Covaxin, which is the other COVID vaccine which is also India's indigenous doctors. Smile, you are right. Dr. Abhishek, Dr. Hina, you are right. Dr. Arjun, Dr. Shubhas. Sorry, so many students' names are coming in app. Yes, you are right. This is Incovac. Incovac is not just indigenous. It is also India's first intranasal COVID vaccine. Single dose consists of eight drops, four in right nostril, four in left nostril, intranasally it should be given. Incovac is also a viral vector based vaccine. Which is the other viral vector based COVID vaccine of India? Which is the other? If you give it before the prescribed gap, gap Dr. Tahir Khan, then it is likely that the efficacy will be reduced tremendously. Minimum one month gap should be there. Yes, OV Shield is the other vac viral vector based vaccine of India. Absolutely right. Let's move further. This is measles vaccine. I think again something is missing from this slide. I will add here type dose train route site and efficacy. Can you write in a single message in the chat box all the six answers? I will wait for your answer, friends, to see how many of us are able to revise correctly in this marathon session. How many of us can revise, revise correctly? Let's quickly write all. No, rotavirus is not in open vial policy right now, Dr. Mayan. Government of India document does not say so. Yes, it is measles vaccine is live attenuated. It is also lyophilized. Lyophilized means it is powder freeze dried vaccine, which is reconstituted with distilled water. You can see also sterile or distilled water is given along with the vial. Dose 0.5 ml, root subcutaneous. Sight right arm. It has very high efficacy with a single dose 90%. And it has very, very high efficacy 99% with two doses. Chocolate question, bonus question. When 99% efficacy is achieved with two doses, what is this strategy known as? Anyone? What is its strategy known as? I am looking at both the chat boxes waiting for the first correct answer. Dr. J is absolutely right. This is armor strategy. 
accelerated measles mortality reduction strategy please remember friends here mmr is not measles mumps rubella here mmr is not maternal mortality rate or maternal mortality ratio this is only related to measles accelerated measles mortality reduction strategy means two doses of measles vaccine should be given in youtube dr ankit gurjan has given the answer correct for the as the first student to answer correctly absolutely right friends right strain is asked many times at monston zp otherwise shore strain moratan strain is also used as you must have read in micro so integrate micro with psm here this vaccine is associated with a potential life threatening complication all the lyophilized vaccines are associated with a potential life threatening complication yes toxic shock syndrome toxic shock syndrome right this we have to remember let's move further japanese encephalitis vaccine type strain diluent it is live attenuated also it is lyophilized so if lyophilized what is the diluent used many times this question is asked in our paper what is the diluent friends dr smile is right what is the diluent of japanese encephalitis dr arjun is right dr amitesh is right yes it is pbs phosphate buffer saline phosphate buffer saline give me a in friends let me switch on the youtube session on my laptop also other laptop also it will help me chat box otherwise i am not able to follow the chat box okay now it will be easier for me okay right so you are right dr dharam prasad dr nidhi sharma dr hasta lyubo the doctor you are right dr bridge bhan singh also you are right and this strain of this live attenuated vaccine is sa 1442 sa 1442 absolutely now friends indian program also includes rota viral vaccine in that sometimes we use rota sil what is the diluent of rota sil in national immunization schedule of india dr pulkit is right dr jimmer is right dr prakash dr surana dr j is right yes dr shubh you are right what is the diluent of rota sil vaccine when used in national immunization schedule killed is not used now dr selva maruti japanese encephalitis killed nakayama strain was used 10 years earlier now we have live only in the program killed is available but not used in the program diluent of rota sil is citrate bicarbonate buffer so for japanese encephalitis it is phosphate buffer saline for japanese encephalitis it is phosphate buffer saline for rotasil it is citrate bicarbonate buffer normal saline is used in bcg normal saline is the diluent in bcg distilled or sterile water is used in measles mmr distilled or sterile is used in measles mmr mmr so these we have to remember right okay let's move further which instrument is shown what is the use of this instrument what is the frequency of usage what is the principle on which it is based four questions identify instrument where it is used frequency and principle 
Yes, I can see in the app, almost everyone is answering correctly, friends. Dr. Arpita, Dr. J, Dr. Bishek, Dr. Hina, you are right, Dr. M.S. Dhoni. So Dr. M.S. Dhoni also joins us today, he is right. And in app, Dr. Medico is right, Dr. Nidhi Sharma, you are right, thermometer, but which thermometer, because two thermometers are mainly asked, Dr. Shamim, Dr. Jay Prasad, Dr. Ankit Gurja, Dr. Harjit, you are right, Dr. Umar Khan, you are also right. This is dial thermometer. Friends, so easy to identify. Only thermometer, which is in circular dial form like a watch, right? So this is dial thermometer. Where it is used? It is used for measuring cold chain temperature of vaccines in ice lined refrigerator at a primary health center. Two more questions are I, I asked. Frequency of usage once a day, twice a day, once a week, twice a week. It is twice a day, morning, evening, morning, evening. Second question, which principle it is based upon? It is based on principle of thermocouple. Principle of thermocouple. Dr. Sumit Singh, you are right. Dr. Hitesh, you are right. Dr. Ankit Gurjar, you are right. Right, so this is about dial thermometer. This we have to mention, right? Okay, let's move further. What is this instrument? How many vaccine vials we can store in this? And how long it can maintain the temperature of all vaccines up to? Three questions. What is this instrument known as? What is this instrument known as? Yes, this is not vaccine box. Vaccine box is not correct, friends. Vaccine carrier is more correct word. Because we have cold boxes separately. This is vaccine carrier, which is used to carry vaccines from PHC to subcenter, PHC to village or any session. Yes, how many vaccine vials we can keep? 12 is not correct, the doctor. It is 16 to 20 vaccine vials should be kept inside. And it can maintain temperature up to Dr. Pradeep Chandniya is right. 12 to 24 hours. Earlier, we used to say 24 to 48 hours, but new guidelines say you can store up to 12 to 24 hours without any problem. So if there was an older question, during an immunization session, it becomes evening at sub-center. Can health worker keep the vaccine carrier at sub-center overnight or he has to bring the vaccine carrier back to PHC the same night? So they can keep at the sub-center overnight because minimum 12 to 24 hours, it can maintain the temperature of vaccines. Friends, what is shown in this image? Only component of cold chain, only component of immunization schedule, which is not put in cold chain, vitamin A. What is shown in the right side of the image is a spoon which is used. This spoon has a horizontal marking like this. Its outer margin is 2 ml, inner margin is 1 ml. Outer margin is 2 ml, inner margin is 1 ml. So, outer margin and inner margin, 1 ml, 2 ml. 1 ml represents 1 lakh international units. 2 ml represents 2 lakh international units. 9 months we give 1 lakh, then every 6, 6 months we give 2, 2 lakh. What is the total dose? What is the total dose of, what is the total dose of what is the total dose of vitamin A in the program? Anyone friends, what is the total dose of vitamin A in the program. Yes, I can see in both the chat boxes, absolutely right. Total dose is 17 lakh international units. Can you tell me this represents which level of prevention? You can use zero for primordial, one for primary, two for secondary, three for tertiary. Zero, one, two, three. Yes, this is primary level of prevention, absolutely right. Primary level of prevention. Why we are saying like this, it is primary level of prevention. Yes, 
because risk factor is present dr bridge phan singh you are right risk factor is present we are specifically protecting against vitamin a deficiency which is the commonest cause of blindness among children of our country rabies vaccine what is sn regimen of rabies vaccine can anyone tell me friends what is sn regimen then i will ask you what is thai updated red cross regimen thai updated red cross regimen of rabies vaccine i need to know the exact regimen sn regimen is intramuscular thai updated red cross regimen is intradermal intramuscular regimen is yes dr medico five doses 1 dash 1 dash 1 dash 1 yes this is given one dose on day 0 3 7 14 28 and thai updated red cross regimen yes it is triple to zero two two doses on day zero day three day seven do not call the person on day 14 directly call the person on day 28 for two doses intramuscular is given in deltoid intradermal on skin above joints one on the right side one on the left side right side left side skin above the joints on upper limb most of the times then which is better human rabies immunoglobulin or equine rabies immunoglobulin which is better no dr abhishek no dr j why you are saying equine human will always be better friends human is less allergic less anaphylactic reaction so that will always be better than the equine doses for both are asked separately in our paper human rabies immunoglobulin 20 international units per kg equine is 40 international units per kg 100% infiltrate around the wound site of administration 100% should be infiltrated around the wound 100% should be infiltrated around the wound if possible right if something is left that can be given intramuscular in the opposite deltoid but try to infiltrate 100% around the wound okay we move further human papilloma virus vaccines how many different types of hpv vaccines are asked in our exam how many different types of hpv vaccines you should know of re exposure only two doses dr kushi day 0 day 3 four vaccines not three four are asked one is cervarix second is gardasil then is gardasil 9 and fourth you can expect a question from india's very own dr smile you are right india's very own 100% indigenous hpv vaccine cervavax now what is asked in the paper is which hpv strains are there in that cervarix is bivalent so most common cause of cervical cancer 1618 gardasil is quadrivalent so most common 1618 and what is the second most common subtype in india 6 and 11 gardasil 9 is a nonavalent vaccine so cervarix bivalent gardasil quadrivalent gardasil 9 nonavalent vaccine so this is nine types most common 1618 second most common 611 third most common 31 and 33 not 32 dr pande 31 and 33 then 45 52 58 also are included in this cervavax is india's very own indigenous it is at a very highly subsidized cost they are saying around 200 to 400 per single shot it will be there this is like gardasil quadrivalent 16 18 6 11 now if i ask you a single answer 
which is the most common HPV single subtype responsible for cervical cancer in India. Out of the nine types in front of you, single best answer, most common cause is HPV 60. Another question. All the HPV or cervical cancer vaccine, it mainly targets with gene. It mainly targets with genes to give protection. With genes, it targets for protection. E6, EP6, no, that is not correct, friends. Dr. Khushi, Dr. Smile, you are right. Dr. Darmagal, Dr. Moin, you are right. Dr. Vasio, you are right. Let's wait for the YouTube friends also. It's, there is a small lag there. Okay, cost is high now. Dr. Amcharan is informing that government has actually kept the cost of Sarvavac very high. Okay, that's not good. Mainly it is late genes. L1, L2. Main target is late genes. L1, L2. Also friends, SAGE group of WHO. This is strategic advisory group of experts on immunization, it says if a female is 9 to 14 years, if she is 15 to 19 years, then only 1 to 2 doses are sufficient for inducing immunity. But if female is 20 years or above, rather more than 20 years, then you have to give minimum two doses. A single dose may not be sufficient. And if female is immunocompromised, HIV or any other immunosuppressive state, then minimum three doses should be given to give protection against cervical cancer. Right, friends? So these guidelines also you should remember because they have been asked in our exam earlier. What is this? It's written also in front of you. This is VVM. That is Vaccine Vial Monitor. Which changes color? Square, circle, both or none? Which of them changes color? Square, circle, both or none? Yes, square changes color. Now friends, we know this is a marker of, VVM is a marker of, what exactly? What does VVM tell you? It is a marker of efficacy, potency, viability. Dr. Smile has answered correctly. None of the above. It is a direct marker of what? Direct marker of? No, viability it is not. Viability, Dr. Drishya, you can measure in lab only. Expiry, we don't measure it through VVM. Expiry date is printed on the vial. No, it is indirect marker of potency, Dr. Nidhi Sharma, Dr. Rishita Reddy. It is actually a marker of cold chain maintenance of vaccine in the past. You take vaccine out of ILR. Right now it is appearing cold. But was the temperature maintained correctly? in last 20 days, 30 days. That we will come to know through this. So best answer, cold chain maintenance. Yes, it is an indirect marker of potency. Not efficacy or viability. Dr. Dharam Prasad, Dr. Marvel, efficacy is not a correct answer. Efficacy you find in lab only or in field conditions only. So this will be a direct marker of cold chain, indirect marker of potency. Now, if I show you four grades of VVM and suppose I write A, B, C and D. Please arrange them in a correct sequence. Can you write in the chat box? Arrange them in a correct sequence, all the four. Arrange all the four. A, B, C, D, A, C, B, D, B, D, C, A, B, C, D, A, which is correct. Yes. All of you are writing correct in the chat box, friends. Good to see. Only one or two students are wrong. Please correct yourself. Yes, Dr. Medico, as usual, you have answered first on the YouTube. 
it is b d c a so grade 1 vaccine maintained in correct temperature in inner square is white vaccine temperature goes above 8 degree inner square becomes light blue d grade 2 then it becomes same color like outer circle grade 3 and fourth it becomes darker purple or black based on who guidelines of vvm which of them are usable which of them can be used one only one and two one two and three which of them are usable very right it is this one grade one and grade two they are usable grade three and four should be discarded grade three and four should be discarded now friends i am telling you a statement tell me true or false tell me true or false based on who guidelines of vvm a vaccine vial is usable if inner square is lighter than the outer circle if inner square is lighter than the outer circle you can use the vial is this correct yes if inner square is lighter than the outer circle use the vaccine if it is same color or darker discard the vial discard the vaccine right okay let's move further read the question carefully mark the answer read the question carefully mark the answer this is based on open vial policy concept that we just discussed 10 minutes ago this is based on that can you tell me which is the correct answer friends a b c and d okay dr medico is right dr jitendra dr mk dr ashwarya dr multi star dr nidhi sharma dr munendra singh gurjar dr dharam prasad dr rishabh singh dr bijwan all of your right friends discard bcg use opv so open vial policy is applicable on opv open vial policy is not applicable on lyophilized vaccines like bcg measles and mmr right so let us move further so in the exam question will be simple read the question carefully health and disease now human development index has got three components please write in the chat box what are these three components human development index what are the three components okay dr prakash pandey is absolutely correct dr smile is correct dr jimmer is correct dr lavandula you have made it more correct rather okay dr pulkit you are right dr multistar i am looking at all the three components dr mithu has made life expectancy more correct yes it is knowledge which is literacy rate also education index also enrollment ratio also mean years of schooling also then income that is per capita also purchasing power parity also then is life expectancy at birth that is also known as longevity now friends please remember all of these terms have got multiple synonyms don't get confused in the paper if they ask you then it is based on three components number one health knowledge is education and income represents living standards so whether you say kill or you say health health education living standards knowledge income life expectancy at birth both are correct so depending on the choices mark the answer and human development index of a country lies between hdi of a country range is asked 
they will not ask you latest value of india because it keeps on changing year by year human development index of a country lies between 0 to plus 1 it lies between 0 to plus 1 it lies between 0 to plus 1 0 to plus 1. India is 0 0.633. Currently, India is 0 0.633. Dr. Shamshed Singh is right. India is a medium development country. Most developed country of the world, rank 1. Which country is most developed country of the world, friends? Yes, one of the most beautiful countries in the world also, Switzerland. Is most developed country of the world rank 1.96 switzerland is the most developed country of the world right armenia is not dr oppenheimer armenia is not right okay below poverty line criteria calorie wise can you mark the answer armenia is also beautiful but not rank 1 right 20 below poverty line criteria in rural areas, urban areas of yes, Norway was two years till two years ago, Dr. Munindar. Now it has been replaced with Switzerland as number one. Norway has gone down. Yes, it is in rural areas. Any person not able to afford even 2400 kilocalories a day in urban areas less than 2100. Kilocalories at so 2400, 2100 kilocalories a day. This is the estimated average daily requirement of an adult person. So they have kept it around 2400, 2100 below poverty line criteria. Now, friends, we come to an important topic in health and disease that is levels of prevention. Now, when you look at levels of prevention. Four are there, primordial, primary, secondary, tertiary. Let's try to understand the concept in a fast way. Primordial is before risk factors. No risk factors. If you can prevent risk factors, prevention of disease is totally possible. Primary is when risk factors are present. But luckily, disease has not yet started in the body. So you can still try to prevent the disease. Secondary, when disease has possibly started in the body. Disease has possibly started in the body. And tertiary, when disease is in progression or it is over with or without sequelae. So before risk factor, after risk factor, early part of disease, late part of disease. What are the modes of intervention? What are the modes of intervention? Primordial is through health promotion. Primordial is through health promotion. Primary is through, yes, again, health promotion and specific protection. Now, friends, if you want to be more technically correct, although promotion is similar in both, in primordial, you can say more it is health education. Although in promotion also we do the same. Although in promotion also we do the health education only. Only thing is risk factor is present at that level. Secondary is through early diagnosis and treatment. And tertiary is disability limitation and rehabilitation. Friends, in the main videos in Cerebellum app, in quick revision videos, in mission videos also, we discuss more than 100 examples. 
but let us look at let us look at few common let us look at few common examples which are asked in the paper that will help me understand how much you have understood the concept which level of prevention is shown by this spectacles first question which level of prevention is shown by spectacles primordial primary secondary tertiary friends in the chat box i am getting all the four answers how it is possible primordial primary secondary tertiary okay i am getting in fact now correct answers in both chat box in the app also and in on youtube also this is tertiary level of prevention see this is not secondary see this is not secondary friends please remember this is not secondary please remember this is not going to treat your refractive error if you take off your spectacle is the refractive error treated in the lens of your eye no it cannot treat it cannot treat it cannot be second secondary so it is tertiary what does it do disability limitation rehabilitation what does it do can it limit your disability can it limit your disability yes if you wear these spectacles your number will stabilize it will not further fall disability limitation never occurs alone automatic rehabilitation will come you take off spectacle alphabets may not be clear on the mobile screen or laptop the moment you put on spectacle each and every alphabet is clear so this is both modes of intervention both modes of intervention what is shown on the right side is actually dots so can you tell me which level of prevention is this dots what is full form of dots directly observe treatment short course treatment that is the answer treatment is secondary mode of intervention treatment we are trying to treat the person now friends many of you are writing tertiary in the answer this is not tertiary when we are trying to give dots to a patient we are not thinking of preventing the complication we are thinking of treating the person first so please remember then that is secondary level treatment you are mixing something dr open heimer two different things you are mixing right contraception is primary level of prevention because it prevents pregnancy when a risk is present also please remember also please remember that majority of vaccines majority of contraceptives are primary level question will come dr pooja question will come shortly on what you are asking it will come what is vaccines i told you a level of prevention it is primary mainly used when a risk factor is present so this is primary level specific protection when we look at contraceptives they are also primary level specific protection risk factor is present it is trying to prevent then something is used to treat like bcg in bladder cancer it will become secondary combined oc pills in polycystic ovarian disease then only it will become secondary so generally ocps are used to prevent pregnancy primary but if they are used to treat pcod only in that situation it will be second right okay let's move further pseudo carrier index case and third was serial interval so let us look at all the three definition based questions friends who is a pseudo carrier whenever this question comes in the exam many times students mark the answer pseudo carrier is not a carrier this is incorrect pseudo carrier is also a carrier but carrier of a virulent organisms
so nothing to worry they will not cause they will not cause any manifestation in the body screening is secondary dr vasu as we have discussed in the app videos also screening is early detection of disease so that is secondary who is a index case primary case is first case secondary case is all cases after primary case index case dr thara you are right who is a index case friends index case is first case coming to notice of investigator coming to notice of investigator what is the sound here could you please check so this is first case diagnosed by the health system first case diagnosed by the health system serial interval is the interval or gap between serial interval is the interval or gap between yes dr smile you are right primary case and secondary case which is more or less close to not exactly always which is more or less close to incubation period dr mohammad bilal shakil you are right gap between primary case and secondary case absolutely let's move further this is iceberg phenomena this is iceberg phenomena this is iceberg phenomena now iceberg has two parts one is the tip which may be 5 or 10% visible to you 5 or 10% it may be visible to you just a second friends let me realign Uh, give me some time friends okay okay friends i think now i am again audible and visible the screen is clear right okay so it has two parts one is tip one is the hidden portion now what is tip is visible to you so tip comprises of clinical cases no hidden portion is also the disease iceberg is a disease right hidden portion is what is not visible to you but they are also spreading the disease that is carriers sub clinical cases yes you are right asymptomatic pre symptomatic clinical it will also include you are absolutely right friends now i'm just telling you different types of questions which have been asked in your paper friends tip is detected by hidden portion is detected by so when i'm asking a question try to speak the answer that will help you memorize even better 
टिप इज डिटेक्टेड बाय डायग्नोसिस हिडन पोर्शन इज डिटेक्टेड बाय स्क्रीन टिप इज द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ हिडन पोर्शन इज द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ टिप इज योर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी फ्रेंड्स वेन यू आर सिटिंग इन द ओपीडी एज अ डॉक्टर सो टिप इज द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ क्लिनिशियन हिडन पोर्शन इज द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ एपिडीमियोलॉजिस्ट दीज क्वेश्चन एव बी नास्ट इन यूर एफ एम जी पेपर एट डिफरेंट टाइम्स फ्रेंड्स बट वेन यू लुक एट एम्स आई एन आई सी टी पेपर दे आस्ट दिस लाइन ऑफ डिमार्केशन लाइन ऑफ डिमार्केशन इज द वॉटर सर्फेस बिटवीन टिप एंड हिडन पोर्शन इट लाइज बिटवीन इट लाइज बिटवीन विच टू कॉम्पोनेट्स ऑफ आइसबर्ग Yes, Doctor Arpita Mahala, you are right. It lies between apparent and inapparent infections. Now, friends, mainly carriers constitute hidden portion. So, which diseases will not show iceberg phenomena? Diseases which have no carriers. so five diseases where carriers are very little or almost absent these are measles rubella rabies tetanus and pertussis measles rubella rabies tetanus pertussis five diseases where carriers are very few or almost absent yes dr muninder singh gurjar you are right again so friends dr prakash pandya you are right five diseases which do not show iceberg phenomena other diseases show iceberg phenomena one of the best iceberg phenomena is shown by malnutrition in india anemia also malnutrition includes anemia iron deficiency also friends so that also shows one of the best iceberg phenomena no why will rubella be removed from that dr isha rubella is almost zero carriers very few carriers very few carriers so please remember nothing has changed some carriers were found recently but that does not mean it will start showing iceberg phenomena carriers are very few found nowadays in measles also earlier we used to say that measles has no carriers very few are found nowadays right okay then we move further which type of time distribution is shown in this image time distribution is of three types short term fluctuation long term fluctuation periodic epidemic secular seasonal or cyclical this is which type friends pertussis have carriers dr meet but they are very few very few therefore pertussis i kept at the fifth number not at the first so fifth number which type of time distribution is shown here seasonal secular seasonal secular or is it cyclical or is it epidemic okay i'm looking at both the chat box simultaneously now friends let's read this carefully first peak is in 2000 next peak is 2001 2002 3 4 रेस्पिरेटरी डिजीज सो दिस इज मोर कॉमनली सीन इन विंटर्स इन मेनी यूरोपियन कंट्रीज एवरी इयर केसेज इंक्रीज इन विंटर्स डिक्रीज इन समर अगेन इंक्रीज इन विंटर सो ऑल ऑफ यू आर राइट वेन यू से दिस इज अ सीजनल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ अ डिजीज so seasonal type of periodic fluctuation so seasonal periodic fluctuation seasonal periodic fluctuation seasonal periodic fluctuation right all of you are right i can see both the screens now okay let's move further now friends can you identify which type of time distribution is shown in this image which type of time distribution is shown in this image
which which type of time distribution is shown in this image yes we can see first peak is 1830 then 1840 1850 1860 1870 this is happening once every 10 years so this is yes cyclical trend of our disease another type of periodic fluctuation so one periodic is seasonal which occurs every season one type of periodic is which occurs after a gap of few years this is cyclic once every 10 years two examples of cyclical distribution is asked in our paper one is measles measles show a cyclical trend once every measles show once every yes two to three years and what about a disease like rubella friends i'm only focusing on fmg questions since the, since the start of this session rubella shows a cyclical trend once every yes five to eight years many books mention four to seven years that is also correct dr khanam how to differentiate between seasonal and cyclical seasonal is every season so it will have one peak every year like every winter's measles cases increase in india right every year cyclical is which increases after every few years after every three years after every five years after every 10 years this is cyclical trend of a disease look at this question look at this question mark the answer This is which level of prevention? Counseling and screening is done for TB and HIV positive patient at ICTC center, National AIDS Control Program, which level of prevention? Now friends, it is in two parts. One is counseling, one is screening. Counseling is you are telling a person and why will you tell a person? Because there is some risk factor. Tuberculosis is the commonest opportunistic infection in a HIV positive patient. So you are counseling him how to prevent against tuberculosis. Risk is present because he has HIV. So this is primary level health promotion. At the same time, you are screening also. I am trying to tell someone how you can prevent TB. But now I am screening also. Has he already started TB in the early part of the disease or he is in the early part of disease? So this is secondary detection secondary diagnosis so answer to this question unique question it is primary plus second both were there both were there primary as well as secondary dr kartar as i told you secular is after every few years after every three years after every five years or after every 10 years so screening is always secondary level of prevention right let's move further friends now we come to the topic of screening itself. We come to the topic of screening itself. Screening is early detection of disease. As we have discussed, early detection, secondary level of prevention. And it is in apparently healthy individual. Remember we discussed just five minutes ago, iceberg. So it is used for this hidden part of iceberg so this is in people who appear healthy apparently healthy they may not be healthy they may be carriers they may be subclinical but yes yes definitely it is hidden portion secondary level of prevention now friends what is diagnostic test for tb in the country malaria hiv and what is the screening test for something is missing from the screen Screening test, I would like to ask for HIV, breast cancer, and cervical cancer in the country. Let us look at all. What is the diagnostic test for tuberculosis in the country, friends? Single best answer. If you have to answer one answer. Single answer. See, there are around 10 to 11 tests which are used in the program. Single best answer is sputum smear examination. Z and stain. 
in case sputum smear examination comes negative pulmonary tuberculosis is the most common type of tb in the country if sputum smear comes negative then we go for the cb net cartridge based nucleic acid amplification test many of you are writing cb net when i asked what is the single best answer please remember single best answer is sputum smear along with that now cb net also becomes an important test of diagnosis in the country pulmonary is most common so sputum smear becomes the test of choice malaria what is the diagnostic test for malaria in the country friends yes dr smile you are right it is peripheral blood smear peripheral blood smear what is the stain we use for that dr smile is right peripheral blood smear uh, dr medico cb net is we can say yes not best for hiv b tb let me make make you slightly more correct dr medico cb net is not best for hiv b tb it is best initial test for hiv b tb remember the word initial test cb net is the best initial test for hiv b tb yes peripheral blood smear is through jsb stain jaswant singh bhattacharya stain jaswant singh bhattacharya stain that we should know hiv what is the diagnostic test in india for hiv we are talking of indian program friends otherwise there are many diagnostic test no not elisa dr jimmer elisa is a screening test i am talking of diagnostic test of hiv is western blot assay in indian program western blot assay is dna based test rna based test or protein based test integrate with biochemistry now yes all of you are right friends western blot assay is a protein based test you must have read this in biochemistry right now when we look at screening test for hiv what is the screening test for hiv in the country screening test for hiv see when you say elisa your answer is partly correct it is ers in the program elisa rapid simple three different screening test are used for hiv screening in india elisa test rapid test simple test elisa rapid simple all three are equally good only elisa's name is more popular but national aids control program is using all the three tests breast cancer what is the ideal screening test single answer i want single answer friends yes dr surana dr prakash pandya dr muskan dr hira dr thara dr tanu jarpit all of you are right i am looking at youtube now friends youtube friends what is the screening test single best answer for breast cancer no dr medico self examination cannot be it as high false positive negative yes dr mohammad bilal shakil is right it is mammography mammography is one problem age related lesser than 40 years it is not useful so in young females what is the ideal screening test for screening of breast cancer in young females yes not usg ideal most sensitive is mri younger females mri is the most sensitive test for detection or screening of breast cancer in early stages please remember friends if it is not available then ultrasonography thermography not available even palpation by physician or breast self examination is recommended cervical cancer what is the recommended screening test in india friends again i must remind you i am only telling you questions of fmg paper only what is the recommended screening test for cervical cancer in india currently again dr mohammad bilal shakil is right it is via via test as we have discussed in the main videos and mission live videos via test has replaced pap smear to number 2 so visual inspection of cervix 5% acetic acid in fact this is the most cost effective method also confirmation of diagnosis of cancer is by biopsy here it is colposcopic punch biopsy can you tell me which test is 
shown in this diagram can you tell me which test is shown in this diagram is yes, dr muskan dr surjendra dr yogesh you are right okay okay i have understood right Yes, this is oral glucose tolerance test, OGTT. Oral glucose tolerance test. In OGTT, we take venous plasma glucose level for diagnosis of diabetes mellitus. We look at Two hour value. This is your two hours. And what is the cutoff, friends? Two hundred. So if two hour venous plasma glucose level is more than two hundred milligram percent or milligram per deciliter, diagnosis of diabetes is confirmed. So you can see we do not look at previous values. Two hours. This person is above two hundred. So this will be declared as a case of diabetes. Start the treatment. Whereas patient number two and three will be not considered as having diabetes currently because two hour value is less than 200 in these two patients, right? So this is the cutoff above this diabetes, below this non-diabetes. This is first test of diagnosis. Second test. Fasting blood sugar. If more than fasting blood sugar, yes, 126 milligram percent or milligram per deciliter. And number three, glycosylated hemoglobin. What is the cutoff for HbA1c, friends? If more than 6.5 percent. These are the three diagnostic test for diabetes mellitus in our country and world screening test is a random blood sugar nowadays so three diagnoses but only a single screening test that is random blood sugar dr chiranjeev you have summarized it correctly for all the three diagnostic tests right pregnancy it is different dr prakash instead of see here we give generally 75 grams of oral glucose. Pregnancy, we like to give lesser dose, maybe around 50 grams. Here we take two hour value. Pregnancy, we rely more on three hour value. Three hour value, right? Okay. HbA1c tells you blood sugar level control in last three weeks to three months also beyond diagnosis. Now look at this. For a screening test to be effective, it should be applied between which two points? A is onset, B is first possible point of detection, C is critical point, D is usual time of diagnosis, E is outcome. For screening test to be effective, it should be applied between. Many of you are giving wrong answer, friends. This is surprising. Many of you are giving wrong answer. To be effective, a screening test should be applied between not B and D, but between B and C. Why not A, B? It is not possible. First possible detection is B. Why not C, D? If critical point is passed, then treatment will not give desired benefit. So you have to detect between B and C. So suppose, let's look at the screen carefully. You detect here. Early detection of disease. Better treatment, better prognosis, better survival. If you don't detect here, patient may come later to you. Point number D. Now, can you tell me what is this known as? A very popular question of FMG. This is known as this red line I have drawn. You are right, Dr. Smile, Dr. Gullu, Dr. Akash, Dr. Pankaj, Dr. Smile. You are right. Looking at YouTube friends. Yes, you are right, Dr. Medico, Dr. Muhammad Bilal, Dr. Ruhi, you are also right. This is lead time. 
what is lead time lead time is advantage gained by screen advantage is gained by a screening test how much you are leading the time of detection of disease without screening suppose a person comes in stage 4 cervical cancer in 2035 with screening test you detect disease today in 2024 11 years earlier now you are leading the time of detection of disease by 11 years 11 years earlier detection better treatment better prognosis better survival this is the advantage gained by screen absolutely right dr chiranjeet now friends look at the screen carefully what is this what is this red line at the top this will be known as yes dr muskan you are right this is screening time this is screening time ideal time to screen ideal time to screen ideal time to screen right okay let's move further now look at this table friends where we have disease on top and on the left side is screening test results then in this table i am sure all of you have memorized this table understood the concept this is a b c and d this screening test table is exactly similar to this screening test 2 by 2 table is exactly similar to table of yes dr abhishek case control study odds ratio so two formula we have to memorize sensitivity is a upon a plus c into 100 please check what i have written on the screen is this formula correct or wrong this is how question comes in your paper nowadays they don't ask you calculation they ask you the formula is this correct sensitivity is a upon a plus c yes this is correct so this is true positive upon true positive plus false negative into 100 now first column is having the disease so i can say these are cases a plus c and second column is not having the disease b and d these i can say are controls so out of diseased how many will come positive on a test is sensitivity formula of specificity was also asked in fmg once what is specificity formula it is d upon b plus d into 100 that is same as true negative upon true negative plus false positive into 100 now friends formula are something which you have to remember many formula we will cover today maximum 20 to 22 formula you have to revise for your exams now let's look at that which is the most useful property of a screening test usefulness of a screening test is given by sensitivity what is diagnostic power of a screening test given by diagnostic power is given by ppv positive predictive value i'll repeat friends usefulness of a screening test is given by sensitivity because higher the sensitivity more people we can send for diagnosis correctly through the diagnostic test right so this is diagnostic power of a screening test given by ppv positive predictive value diagnostic power is ppv formula a upon a plus b into 100 now friends those who are watching on the app and youtube which part of the screen my video is visible because some students are saying don't write on the top right corner some are saying don't write on the top or right bottom corner okay top part is visible okay some are saying all are visible 
ओके चलो आई ट्राई टू अवॉइड बोथ दिस रीजन बिट सो दैट बॉटम राइट इज नॉट विजिबल ऑन दी गैप ओके सो आई अवॉइड बॉटम राइट ऑल्सो टॉप राइट ऑल्सो वेन एवर आई गो हे वायर जस्ट रिमाइंड मी इन दी चैट बॉक्स सो दिस इज वॉट यू नीड टू अबाउट नीड टू नो अबाउट स्क्रीनिंग फ्रेंड्स नो वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग्स इज कम्युनिकेबल नॉन कम्युनिकेबल डिजीजेस योर फुल पेपर इज बेस्ड ऑन डिजीजेस बट देर आर अराउंड एट टू टेन क्वेश्चन विच कम फ्रॉम पी एस एम पॉजिटिव एजेंट रूट ऑफ ट्रांसमिशन मे बी सेकेंडरी अटैक रेट मे बी दे विल आस्क यू अबाउट क्लिनिकल फीचर्स बेस्ड ऑन दैट दे हेल्प यू आस्क अ डायग्नोसिस और मेक अ डायग्नोसिस सो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स गो थ्रू सम सिंपल थिंग्स फर्स्ट इंक्यूबेशन पीरियड्स फॉर फ्यू डिजीजेस few have been missed also in the list they were there in the ppt but in this software they are not opening so i also asked for cholera i also asked for a monkey pox similarly i also asked for hiv and ebola virus disease now friends these are the incubation periods asked in different exams of india mainly fmg exams so we start with most important covid 19 what is the incubation period of covid 19 friends yes it is always in a range 1 to 14 days if examiner gives you other way round more precisely 5 to 6 days if examiner asks you median incubation period single answer it is 5.1 days influenza is 18 to 72 hours diphtheria diphtheria is 2 to 6 days now friends let me ask you question in another Which other important disease asked in your paper has a incubation period of two to six days besides diphtheria? Besides diphtheria, yes, Doctor Smile, Doctor Vijay, you are absolutely right. Doctor Bridge, also you are right. It is yellow fever. So another popular question of your paper: What is the quarantine period for yellow fever? Quarantine period for yellow fever. Yes, it is six days. quarantine is always for the maximum incubation period 6 days for yellow fever quarantine period is always for the maximum incubation period now one more question what is the meaning of the word quarantine which disease it was first used for what is the meaning of the word quarantine which disease it was first used for okay i am getting different diseases in the choices how it is possible friends quarantine means 40 day detention quarant means 40 days 40 day detention and it was first used for the disease plague not ebola it was first used for the disease plague hepatitis a and b hepatitis a incubation period is 15 to 45 days this is for a and for hepatitis b it is 45 to 180 days so hepatitis a i can say 2 to 6 weeks hepatitis b 6 weeks to 6 months what about measles friends what about measles friends measles incubation period is 10 to 14 days if you are asked a single answer 10 days 12 days 14 days or 16 days single answer for measles incubation period 10 12 14 16 a question of fmg only friends this has also been a question of fmg what is the meaning of incubation period appearance of first sign or symptom in measles fever starts on 10th day so single best answer 10th day 10 days is the incubation period of measles single best answer friends right cholera incubation period is 1 to 2 days 1 to 
टू डेज टाइफॉइड इज टेन टू फोर्टीन बट कॉलेरा इज वन टू टू डेज मंकी पॉक्स मंकी पॉक्स इंक्यूबेशन पीरियड इज थ्री टू सेवेंटीन डेज वॉट इज द रूट ऑफ ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ मंकी पॉक्स फ्रेंड्स वॉट इज द रूट ऑफ ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ मंकी पॉक्स फ्रेंड्स लेट्स वेट फॉर द आंसर फ्रॉम द फ्रेंड्स डॉक्टर प्रकाश एरोसोल इज ऑल्सो अ रूट बट दिस टाइम वेन द पेंडेमिक इज स्प्रेडिंग एरोसोल इज नॉट द कॉमन रूट अदरवाइज इट वुड हैव स्प्रेड टू द होल प्लेनेट लाइक कोविड नाइनटीन सलाइवा मंकी पॉक्स फ्रेंड्स स्किन Okay, friends. Yes, Doctor Tiger is right. Currently, the pandemic is spreading through sexual route, mainly in homosexuals. Mainly in homosexuals. Please remember, it is a pox virus. Definitely, it must have respiratory route of transmission. But luckily, it is not the major route of transmission. It is sexual route of transmission. Men having sex with men. MSM is the term we use for homosexuals. that is the route of transmission therefore it is not spread like covid 19 which spread very fast across the planet right okay hiv what is the median incubation period in india was asked this is 10 years and ebola 2 to 21 days what is the route of transmission of ebola friends question asked in your paper what is the route of transmission of ebola No, it is not respiratory, Doctor Lavan and Doctor Prakash, Doctor. Because if it was mainly respiratory, it will spread very fast. But Ebola does not spread very fast because it is again through infected body fluids. It is again through infected body fluids, friends. Please, we have to remember it is through infected body fluids. Sexual fluids have also been established as a role. to play in ebola transmission in many studies yes you are right dr radhika singh doc you wrote the doctor you are right it is body fluids contaminated body fluids let's move further now look at some definitions which i need to know for your exam purposes we first start with posse basilary leprosy which patient will you classify as posse basilary leprosy friends Which patient of leprosy will be classified as posse basilary? Okay, Doctor Nayan has given the first correct answer. Posse basilary is one to five skin lesions with. Or without nerve involvement. If nerve is involved, maximum it will be one. Multi basilary leprosy is more than five skin lesions. With definitely nerve involved, minimum one. it may be 1 2 3 4 5 or even more which is the most common nerve affected in leprosy which is the most common sensation lost in leprosy first sensation to be lost not most common most common nerve affected first sensation to be lost yes you are right nerve involved most commonly is ulna how will we come to know that ulna nerve is involved only due to leprosy and not anything else what should we test in person's body should i check for sensation loss should i check for muscle power in the muscle supplied none of the above we actually look for cord like thickening so if they give you a long clinical question a 20 year old adult comes with this this problem you check do a examination you come to suddenly realize there is a cord thickened nerve at medial epicondyle it is found at medial epicondyle 
direct diagnosis of leprosy is confirmed right and first sensation lost many of you wrote correctly in the chat box dr octavia dr chiranjeev dr neyaz raz you are right it is cold temperature loss is the first sensation loss now leprosy is most commonly classified by using ridley joplin classification it has five subtypes tuberculoid borderline tuberculoid borderline 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 lepromatous lepromatous leprosy my question is which of them is posse bacillary which of them is posse bacillary out of these five which are posse bacillary friends i am looking at the chat box Dr. Akash, Dr. Muskan, Dr. Ashwarya, Dr. Abhishek, Dr. Azad. Many of them are saying TT and BT are possibly. Friends, is this correct? That TT and BT are possibly. Yes, this is correct. In fact, borderline, borderline, borderline lepromatous, lepromatous leprosy are multi-basal. This is which type of classification? Clinical bacterial, immunohistological. operational classification ridley joplin is clinical bacterial operational immunohistological ridley joplin is which type of classification friends it is a type of immunohistological classification please remember this is the reason you will read it in immunology microbiology you will read it in histology pathology also So Ridley Joplin has five immunohistological subtypes of leprosy, which is the most common subtype in India. Most common subtype in India. It is borderline tuberculosis. Most common subtype in India is borderline. tuberculoid borderline tuberculoid now friends mdr tb multi drug resistant tuberculosis does not mean resistance to multiple drugs but it means resistance to two most important drugs what are these these are isoniazid and rifampicin both at the same time in same person's body so both at the same time in same person's body right all of us know this now what is xdr tb what is xdr tb by definition it includes okay friends let me add a slide to this so that we can discuss it better when i'm asking a xdr tb first question which was actually asked in the paper what is x extensive extensively extreme extremely these were the choices extensive extensively extreme extremely this was the question friends this is extensively drug resistant tuberculosis please do not lose marks in such easy questions extensively drug resistant tuberculosis this has got combination of three resistances first is resistance to both isoniazid and rifampicin so you can say mdr tb is included in xdr tb definition plus resistance to any one fluoroquinolone which is also a second line drug ciprofloxx oflox parfloxacin plus resistance to any one second line injectable now what are second line injectables earlier it included kenamycin amikacin capriomycin but now 
WHO says according to the new definition. Uh, no, Dr. Arpita, streptomycin is first line. This is second line injective. So, canamycin, amikacin, capriomycin. Now, the new definition that WHO is proposing, it says it should be beta quilly. and linezolid they should be included in the definition xdr tb so when these resistances is present that is known as extensively drug resistant tuberculosis friends can you diagnose first disease second disease make a diagnosis of first image and second image first image is diphtheria Why we are saying this is diphtheria, friends? Why this is diphtheria? And why we are saying second is HIV? Why, friends? Yes, Dr. Medico is correct. This is, yes, Dr. Brijbhan is correct. Dr. Pankaj Patel is correct. This is bull neck appearance. Friends, what is pathognomic clinical feature of diphtheria? What is pathognomic clinical feature of diphtheria, friends? Pathognomic clinical feature of diphtheria. Friends, we have to remember pathognomic clinical feature of diphtheria is not pseudomembrane. If pseudomembrane was the answer, I will show you pseudomembrane in the photograph. Examiner will show you pseudomembrane. Pathognomic clinical feature of diphtheria is bull neck appearance only. So whenever a bull neck patient is coming to pediatric emergencies, we can directly make a diagnosis from 20 meters. A case of diphtheria is coming. So what is the meaning of pathognomic? If you see this clinical manifestation, no need to see anything else. Clinical pathognomic feature of measles disease. Diphtheria is bull neck. Measles is coplic spot. And rabies is hydrophobia. Three pathognomic clinical features are asked in your paper. Diphtheria, bull neck. Measles, coplic spot. And rabies, hydrophobia. HIV, you are right. HIV virus shape, you can see. GP120, GP41, reverse transcriptase. So many things are given in this particular image only. Easily we can identify HIV virus particle is shown in the image. What are the diagnostic tests mainly used for four diseases I am asking? Malaria is missing in the list. Let me add. So what are the diagnostic tests for this? We start with COVID-19. What is the diagnostic test of COVID-19 in the country? What is the diagnostic test of COVID-19 in the country, friends? Yes, it is RT-PCR. RT-PCR is the diagnostic test for COVID-19 in the country. Kalazar, what is the antigen used for serological diagnosis? Dr. Vasio is right. Kalazar, what is the antigen used for serological diagnosis? Dr. Munender Singh Gurjar is also right. RK39 antigen. Reverse kinesin 39 antigen. Dr. Brijesh, we are discussing about the national health program because in your exam, they won't ask you about CART test or ELISA. Program is doing serological diagnosis through reverse kinesin 39. Therefore, this was asked in the paper. Mainly health programs are asked in the exam. Dengue. Indian program is using serological diagnosis through which antigen? Dengue, Dr. Misbhai is absolutely right. NS1 antigen. It is such a good test. It comes positive in first seven days of illness. Sometimes even in first three days of illness. Even, sometimes even on first day of illness. What is the diagnostic test of malaria in the country, friends? Dr. Misbhai is again right. That is peripheral blood smear we have discussed. Through Jaswan Singh Bhatta Charre strain. Now question was, when we make a peripheral blood smear of malaria, 
we use two smears. So it is two smears on two slides, two smears on one slide, different sides, two smears on one slide, same side. This was the question. Two smears are made on two slides or one slide. If it is made on one slide, two different sides or same side. This was the question, friends. Yes, it is one slide, same side. One slide, same side. So we have thick smear. We have thin smear. Thick smear tells you presence of malaria. Whereas thin smear tells you species also. So two different smears on one slide, same side, same slide, same slide, same side. Let's remember like this, same slide, same side, SSSS. So same slide, same side, both smears have to be drawn. So thick smear gives you sensitivity in the test. Thin smear provides specificity to your test for diagnosis of malaria. Malaria, we also use dipstick test. Older question of our paper, dipstick test of malaria is based on which serological antigen? It is based on which antigen? Yes, it is histidine rich protein type 2 plasmodium falciparum. Histidine rich protein type 2 plasmodium falciparum, right? Okay, friends, let's move further. Serum markers of hepatitis B, four questions. First, we look at Australia antigen. Yes, OGTT is better, friends. Australia antigen is, yes, hepatitis B surface antigen. Which is the epidemiological marker? Which is the epidemiological marker of hepatitis B? Which is the first antigen to appear in hepatitis B? Yes, answer is hepatitis B surface antigen for all the three questions. All the three questions. What is the marker of infectivity? What is the marker of infectivity, friends? Which antigen or antibody is hepatitis B envelope antigen? Why it is a marker of infectivity? It tells you active viral replication in the body. It tells us active viral replication in the body. It tells us active viral replication in the body. Right. Dr. Chiranjib is right. Dr. Smith Christian, you are right. Dr. Chetan, you are also right. Which is the marker of acute hepatitis B, friends? Which is the marker of acute hepatitis B? It is, yes, antibody to core antigen. An IgM or IgG? Yes, we have studied in biochemistry and micro. IgM acute form. IgG will be the chronic form, right? So IgM, acute hepatitis B. Which of them I will find in vaccinated individuals? Which antigen antibody will I find in vaccinated individuals? Will be antibody to surface. Anti-HBS. Vaccinated individuals will show NTHBS. Dr. Muhammad Bilal Shakil, you are right. Dr. Hina, Dr. Parvesh Sheikh, you are also right. Friends, let's move further. Best indicator for malaria control. What is the answer to this question, friends? What is the best indicator of malaria control in the Malaria program of India. Only one student, Dr. Azad Yadav, 
has given the answer correct till now friends maximum of us are marking the wrong answer best indicator of malaria control is api annual parasitic incidence i will again remind you it's not index it is incidence number of new cases this is the best indicator of malaria control in the exam do not do this silly mistake infant parasite rate is the best marker of recent transmission see logically if you find parasite in infants what infant is below 12 months so malaria must have been transmitting in last 12 months right so this is a recent transmission spleen rate is a marker of endemicity an annual blood examination rate aber annual blood examination how many slides you are making in a year how your program is operating so this is a marker of indicator of operational efficiency of malaria program marker or operational efficiency of malaria program now friends the, these are markers which are used in the program based on the cases how many are slides we are making how many of them are positive but there are some indicators we use at the vector level also so there is a question which is the marker for degree of anthrophilism degree of anthrophilism anyone let us say again a chocolate question of course i'll give chocolate when we meet next at we have some mosquito based indicators also no slide positivity rate dr episol is again related to the program we are talking of mosquito level degree of anthrophilism is given by human blood index in mosquitoes how many mosquito stomachs you will be able to locate parasite right that is degree of anthrophilism human blood index so in case you are not aware about this particular question friends please make a note degree of anthrophilism anthro is human philism is liking or love so anthrophilic human blood index right okay can you identify the disease shown in this natural cycle of that disease which disease is shown by this life cycle yes dr arjun dr shubhash dr ajay prasad dr bridge bhan you are right dr medico dr mohammad bilal shakil you are right friends this is japanese encephalitis what is the role of pigs in japanese encephalitis friends pig act as it's written also amplifier host pigs are the amplifier host who is the actual host can i say this, this is a disease of man no this is not a disease of man this is a disease of water birds ardite birds ardite birds are actual host ardite birds are actual host vector which species of culex is the major vector which species of culex dr smile is right which species of culex that is culex tritinio rhynchus otherwise culex vishnui gelidus also in india but culex trite in your incus dr surana you are right dr subhash kumar you are right dr smith christian you are also right culex trite in your incus dr octavia you are also right single best vector most commonly leading to transmission of j in the country is culex trite in your incus man is the accidental host 
क्यूलेक्स वॉज सपोज टू बाइट अ वॉटर बर्ड और अ पिग बाई मिस्टेक इट बाइट मैन मैन ऑल्सो गेट्स हॉर्सिज इन केटल एक्टेस मॉस्कीटो अट्रैक्टेड ऑल दीज थिंग्स यू विल फाइंड टूगेदर इन राइस फील्ड सो ईस्ट एंड सदर्न इंडिया वेयर राइस कल्टिवेशन इज डन वॉटर इज प्रेजेंट इन दी फील्ड थ्रू आउट दर Japanese encephalitis is very common. Vaccine we have discussed. We move further. Friends, what is known as medical discovery of last century? What is the medical discovery of last century? Okay, I am very tempted to say the name of one politician. that is the actual discovery of the century last century but you are right actually it is dr chandan gowda is also correct ors who recommended low osmolarity ors right now friends when we look at who low recommended Low osmolarity, WHO recommended ORS. Its content composition is asked. That includes sodium chloride, potassium chloride, sodium citrate, and glucose. Now, this is one thing which is asked exactly by its weight-wise composition also, ionic composition also. So, when we look at weight-wise, sodium chloride is two point Six grams, potassium chloride is one point five, sodium citrate is two point nine grams, and glucose is thirteen point five grams, giving a total weight to one ORS packet twenty point five grams. Dissolve it in one liter of water. Consume it within twenty four hours. Now, when you dissolve it in one liter of water, five major ions are generated. these are sodium ion potassium ion chloride ion citrate ion and glucose ion their osmolar concentration is also asked in our paper sodium ion is 75 millimoles per liter potassium ion is 20 chloride is 65 citrate is 10 and glucose is 75 giving a total of 245 millimoles per liter osmolar concentration to one packet of ors now friends if you find these are too many values to remember then please remember in your exam exact question was based on these four our question came All of the following are correct about composition of WHO recommended low osmolarity ORS except so these four minimum you will have to remember right so please remember these now friends we move further can you tell me this is which particular disease distribution shown in the diagram map of India is it HIV is it malaria is it Japanese Encephalitis, or is it something else? Okay, some students are saying malaria, some are saying Japanese encephalitis, some are saying kala azar. Three different choices we are confused with. Now, friends, let's rule them out one by one. It cannot be HIV. Why it cannot be HIV? If HIV was the answer, whole country will be in color. and hiv is maximum found in northeast india and southern india barring kerala so they will be in darkest color rest of the country will be in lighter color it cannot be this now why answer cannot be malaria because again malaria is found in whole country whole country will be in color but darkest color will be in east and northeast india east india northeast india is darkest for malaria now again answer cannot be japanese encephalitis why 
जैपनीज एनकेफलाइटिस इज प्रेजेंट इन एट्टी परसेंट ऑफ आर कंट्री सेवेंटी टू एट्टी परसेंट सो कंप्लीट ईस्ट इंडिया कंप्लीट सदर्न इंडिया वेर एवर राइस कल्टिवेशन इज डन दे विल बी इन द डार्क कलर सो ओनली पॉसिबल करेक्ट आंसर नाइंटी नाइन परसेंट केसेस कम फ्रॉम फोर स्टेट्स ऑफ इंडिया फॉर काला आजा बिहार यूपी झारखंड वेस्ट बेंगाल सो नाइंटी नाइन परसेंट केसेस कमिंग फ्रॉम फोर स्टेट्स ऑफ इंडिया दिस इज अ जोग्राफिकल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ द डिजीज काला आजार वॉट इज द पॉजिटिव एजेंट वॉट इज द वैक्टर थ्री डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन कॉज वैक्टर ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस प्लीज मार्क द आंसर पॉजिटिव एजेंट वैक्टर ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस ओके वेरी राइट पॉजिटिव एजेंट नो वन इज राइटिंग पॉजिटिव एजेंट इज लिश्मेनिया डोनो वन आई कालाजार इज विस्तर लिश्मेनियासिस दैट यू है माइक्रोन मेडिसिन पैथ ऑल्सो वैक्टर इज सैंड फ्लाई फ्ले बॉटमस सैंड फ्लाई और फ्ले बॉटमस सैंड फ्लाई और फ्ले बॉटमस एंड ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस is not amphotericin b many of you are writing correctly in fact it is liposomal amphotericin b in india so drug of choice is liposomal form of amphotericin b liposomal form of amphotericin b just a second friend someone is calling again and again ओके, सो दिस इज लाइपोजोमल एम्फोटेरिसिन बी यस यू आर राइट डॉक्टर राधिका सेकेंड लाइन ऑफ चॉइस इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ पेरामोमाइसिन एंड मिल्टेफोसिन गिवन इन कॉम्बिनेशन पेरामोमाइसिन एंड मिल्टेफोसिन लेट्स मूव फर्दर मेक अ क्लिनिकल डायग्नोसिस यस यू आर राइट मीजल्स Why you are saying measles? Because its pathognomonic clinical feature is shown in the photograph. That is, complex spots. Now, why complex spots? Although they are pathognomonic, generally not seen in clinical practice. There was a question in your exam few years ago. Why complex spots are not seen in clinical practice? because they disappear two days prior to appearance of rash they disappear two days before rash and it is the rash which mother notices and brings child to your opd so when we are not able to see complex spots rash helps in diagnosis what is the key feature about the rash of measles which is different from the other viral infestations yes dr arpita is right Doctor Arpita, Doctor J is right. Rash is retroauricular in origin. Mother will typically give you a history. Rash started behind the ear, came to the face, and followed down to the trunk. So, Doctor Chandra Gorda is absolutely right. It is retroauricular origin of rash. Friends, make a diagnosis. Which disease am I talking of? or which organism am i talking when you look at this particular disease yes dr prakash dr abhishek dr thara dr kush dr arjun darmagal dr sharad you are right dr mohammad bilal dr ashish patel you are also right this is diphtheria now how we manage to identify this corny bacterium diphtheria Yes, this is green colored bacilli, so Albert stain. What is the peculiar feature of diphtheria bacilli on Albert stain? They have a characteristic Chinese letter, cuneiform arrangement of bacilli. So you can see L forms, V forms, X forms. At end of these bacilli, there are bodies known as no, not drumstick. Doctor Subhas, drumstick will go towards clostridium. This is not drumstick. 
these are volatile granules babes ernst granules yes metachromatic granules polymetaphosphate granules all these are different names volatile babens metachromatic polymetaphosphate again dr abhishek it's not safety pin safety pin you find in maybe some other organism like yersinia pestis right so not safety pin it is bacilli with volatile granules at two end volatile granules babens granules at the two end so metachromatic polymetaphosphate granules also then make a diagnosis then i will ask you other questions first make a diagnosis what is shown in this particular image make a diagnosis yes you are right dr parvez dr subhash ajay dr vijay dr j dr happy soul dr twinkle singh you are also right dr deepak you are right the organism shown is dr chandra gowda dr chiranjeev dr pranit dr rishabh is also right this is mucor mycosis so every one of you identified correctly now quickly tell me why this is mucor mycosis what is the characteristic feature because hyphae are seen in many infections many fungal infection what is the characteristic appearance of mucor mycosis yes these are ribbon like hyphae you can see also characteristic feature they branch at 90 degree most of the times and this appearance is typically known as dr oppenheimer has told us correctly this is known as antlers on a moose appearance antlers on a moose appearance so ribbon like hyphae which branch at 90 degree ribbons on a moose appearance diagnosis of mucor mycosis drug of choice for mucor mycosis drug of choice for mucor mycosis will be yes it is liposomal amphotericin b who says amphotericin b is good enough we are using liposomal amphotericin b otherwise posoconazole is savoconazole are used as second line of treatment posoconazole is savoconazole oral uh, second line of treatment who says amphotericin b is good enough to treat mucor mycosis right so pharmacology of dr govind rai garg has told you lamp that becomes the answer right okay very right debridement may have to be done and there are many things you will find in radiology also how to identify mucor mycosis on radiology we move further this is yellow fever vaccine questions which type of vaccine this is strain validity of vaccination certificate answer all the three questions friends which type of vaccine this is what is the strain what is the validity yes this is a type of life attenuated lyophilized vaccine it is reconstituted with cold physiological saline sodium chloride cold saline its vector is 17d vd is dakar antigen units and validity is 10 days to life long 10 days to life long absolutely can you make a clinical diagnosis through the image shown in the image we have a national program for this disease also 
therefore i am showing it to you in psm because we make a field diagnosis the disease shown in the image yes i am looking at the chat box dr chandan gowda dr harshul patel dr subhash all of you are right this is trachoma now for trachoma field diagnosis there are four clinical manifestations one large follicles on upper tarsal conjunctiva number 2 limbal follicles also known as herbert pits number 3 penis formation number 4 scar friends at a primary center level you will not have a lab diagnosis facility available so diagnosis is done if any two out of four are present in the image can you tell me what is these arrows i am drawing or representing arrows represent herbert pits limbal follicles these are your large follicles you should be able to differentiate integrate ophtha with psm you should be able to in, uh, differentiate it from vernal keratoconjunctivitis conjunctivitis right so you should know what is trachoma looking like what vernal keratoconjunctivitis conjunctivitis look like both are totally different from each other what is the drug of choice in india for trachoma yes it is azithromycin single oral dose 20 mg per kg now two questions beyond this which have been asked in fmg mass treatment is given if and what is the drug of choice for mass treatment when do we give mass treatment this was the question in which situation we give mass treatment friends no one is answering this question when do we give mass treatment okay everyone has not seen this question in the previous year topics friends mass treatment is given if prevalence of moderate or severe trachoma in less than 10 year age is more than 10% then mass treatment is given 10% number you have to remember and what do we use as a drug of choice for mass treatment is 1% tetracycline ointment see drug of choice for disease trachoma is single oral dose of azithromycin but mass treatment is through ointment 1% tetracycline ointment and you are right prevention and control strategy is safe s is surgery for trichiasis and entropion a is antibiotic use that is azithromycin f is facial hygiene including eyes and fourth is environmental modification environmental modification friends what is shown in this particular image can you identify the phenomena and the disease can you identify no this is not step wise approach no this is not what is shown in this particular image no this is not tracking phenomena also friends this is yes this is rule of halves shown by the disease hypertension now friends last time a very unique question was asked earlier the only used to ask rule of halves is shown by which disease hypertension last time they asked what does this innermost black circle represent in rule of halves of hypertension innermost black circle represents okay let's understand this outer circle is total population now what is the rule of halves rule of half says of the total adult population 50% have hypertension
So BP increase with age out of the total adult population, 50% have hypertension. Out of those, only 50% develop symptoms. Others will not even be aware that they are having hypertension. Of those who develop symptoms, only 50% seek treatment. They go for treatment. And of those who get treatment, only 50% get adequate treatment. This was the answer. Black innermost circle is 50% get adequate treatment. Please read the question carefully. I'll quickly repeat. Total population, 50% have hypertension. Of those, 50% get symptoms. Of those, 50% go for treatment. Of those who get treatment, only 50% get correct, complete, adequate treatment. This is known as rule of half. What is urban heart? What is urban heart, friends? FMG question only. Never been asked in NEET PG also. Urban heart, how we are saying Asha Usha, it's not at all related to the healthcare system of India, friends. Please go through older questions of FMG of at least five to six years. What is urban heart? No, none of us is answering correctly. That means we are okay. Dr. J only has answered correctly. This is health equities and response. It is a tool for health equity and health equity actually your assessment. So health equity you are trying to assess assessment and response to urban heart is an international program it is a tool actually it is a questionnaire which is used in many countries to find it has two purpose to find inequities in health And this helps you better implementation of your policy and program to do decision making. So it is used to find inequities in health. It is actually an abbreviation. Health equity assessment and response to urban heart. Right. So this is a program or a questionnaire or a tool to find inequities in health. Physical domain we use, social domain, economic domain, governance based domain and fifth is population health domain also we use. Urban heart. Dr. Misbah, you are right. Dr. Rathor Pushkar, you are right. Now friends, when we look at national health programs of India, this is dots. What is S? First question. What is S? Directly observed treatment. What is S? Dr. Tanuji, you are right. Dr. Sharad, Dr. Bridge Bhan. Dr. Twinkle, you are right. Dr. Akash, Dr. Gaurav, Dr. Nishant, you are also right, friends. And Dr. Smith Krishan, you are also right. This is directly observed treatment short course. S is not scheme or strategy, it is short course. That observation is patient will come to your center and consume the medication in front of you. Now, India launched National TB Elimination Program on 1st January 2020, where we want to eliminate TB from India by the year. So TB should be eliminated from India by which target year now under NTEP? Yes, it is 2025. 
National TB Elimination Program wants to eliminate TB from India. Dr. Muninder, you are also right. We want to reduce incidence by 80%. We want to reduce mortality by 90%. Two major objectives of TB program. Reduce incidence by 80. Reduce mortality by 90%. You are right. This is the logo of this is the logo of hand holding a flower or a lotus. This is yes, Dr. Vishnu Priya, Dr. Sharad, Dr. Subhash, Dr. Azam, Dr. Bishak, you are right. Dr. Bridgebhan. Dr. Sid, you are not right. This does not indicate the treatment. This is the name of the program. This is Yes, Dr. Nidhi Sharma, Dr. Abhishek Kohli, National Leprosy Elimination Program of India. Actually, because if you look at elimination level of leprosy, anyone knows the answer? What is the actual elimination level of leprosy? Dr. Smile, Dr. Dr. Smile is right. Dr. Arjun, you are not right. Dr. Arpita, you are right. It is less than one case per 10,000 population. Yes, this is what I was coming to Dr. Mariam Fatima. This India achieved in December 2005. So technically we have eliminated leprosy. Although it is still occurring in India at a rate less than one per 10,000. This is actually the prevalence rate. Therefore, we substituted the word eradication here. Although it is technically not correct because eradication is used for the whole world, not for a country. But we have already eliminated, so we shifted to eradication. Now, possibacillary, multibacillary. What is the duration of treatment? Possibacillary, how long we give? Multibacillary, how long we give? How many drugs we give? How many drugs we give? Possibacillary treatment is six months, two drugs. multi is 12 months with three drugs. Please remember, no Dr. Zoom user, it is not same now. WHO recommended this, that both should be treated with three drugs. That is known as uniform MDT. But that multi-drug therapy guideline of WHO has not been adopted by India. India is still using possibacillary through dapson rifampicin and multibacillary through dapson rifampicin clofazine. Follow up in possibacillary is for two years in India. Multibacillary is for five years. Follow up after treatment. So India has not yet adopted the WHO guideline of three drugs for both possi multi. We are using two drugs for possi, three for multi as of today. We have to remember. Now friends, multi-drug therapy is the name of treatment of leprosy. From that, image-based question came on color coding. Color coding. So let's look at that. So we have green colored blister packs. Green colored blister packs and red colored blister packs. First, we should remember them. Green are used for possibacillary in adults. Red are used for multibacillary in adults. But in leprosy program, we also give treatment to children separately. So when we look at blue colored blister packs, this is possibacillary leprosy treatment of a child or children, whereas yellow colored, okay, this is not visible, so I'll write with black color. Yellow color is for multi leprosy treatment in a child. So yellow is multi -bacillary. Please remember this color coding system correctly. WHO guidelines pilot testing is going on. So very soon it will become same in whole country. Few pilot testing at few districts, it has already 
shifted to uniform but not at the national level not at the national level right so then it will become only two right you are right dr mk let's move further this is which shall program its return also then i will ask you questions this is national program for control of blindness and visual impairment national program for control of blindness and visual impairment let me ask all the questions which have been asked from this program in your exam till now what is the most common cause of blindness in india what is the most common cause of low vision what is the most common cause of visual impairment most common cause blindness low vision visual impairment only dr jimmer has given the correct answer friends only dr jimmer has given the correct answer dr sid also has given correct answer dr j also correct dr bijbhan also correct for all the three answer is cataract in fact for blindness 62% cataract refractive error is 19.7 which was asked earlier most common cause of if you are asked ocular morbidity only in that situation your answer will change to refractive error right this we have to remember categories of visual impairment lesma this is low vision economic blindness social blindness manifest blindness and absolute blindness low vision is less than 6 by 18 to 6 by 60 then go in a sequence economic is less than 6 by 60 to 3 by 60 you can devise alongside me by speaking or in your mind social is below 3 by 60 to 1 by 60 manifest is below 1 by 60 to perception of light present absolute is perception of light absent now when we look at economic blindness that is known as work vision and social blindness is also known as walk vision so these five categories of visual impairment you have to remember and what is the definition of blindness according to npcb as well as who now it is same throughout the world now blindness is defined as visual acuity less than 3 by 60 in better eye best possible correction better eye best possible correction now friends which is which is this health program which is this health program which is this health program can you identify this is pradhan mantri jan aarogya yojana is a part of which health program friends pradhan mantri jan aarogya yojana is a part of yes ayushman bharat now ayushman bharat has two components first is health and wellness center mainly to be made at sub center but some primary health centers also it is to be managed by a community health officer who is a bsc nursing graduate community health officer community health officer and second is jan aarogya yojana for secondary and tertiary level hospitalization government provides a insurance cover its value was asked in your program yes dr j actually health and wellness center has different names in different states of the country but in india we call them hwc at a national level hwc sub center hwc primary health center 
सेकेंडरी टर्शरी लेवल हॉस्पिटलाइजेशन दिस इज अमाउंट ऑफ इंश्योरेंस कवर वॉज आस्ट दिस इज फाइव लैख पर फैमिली पर ईयर दिस इज फॉर बिलो पॉवर्टी लाइन फैमिली सो दे कैन गेट दम सेल्स एडमिटेड इन अ सेकेंडरी टर्शरी लेवल प्राइवेट हॉस्पिटल ऑल्सो प्रोवाइडेड हॉस्पिटल एज मिनिमम टेन बेड्स टू बिकम अ पार्ट ऑफ आयुष्मान भारत मिनिमम टेन बेड्स टू बिकम अ पार्ट ऑफ आयुष्मान भारत अनिमिया मुक्त भारत थ्री क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द मेन गोल सेकेंड क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द मेन स्ट्रेटेजी एंड थर्ड क्वेश्चन इज द आयरन फोलिक एसिड सप्लीमेंटेशन सो फर्स्ट यू लुक एट मेन गोल वॉट इज द मेन गोल डॉक्टर पुलकित मंडल इज आंसर्ड करेक्टली ओके राजस्थान पीपल आर वेरी लकी देन डॉक्टर मुनेन्द्र सिंह गुर्जर गोल इज टू रिड्यूस प्रेवलेंस ऑफ एनीमिया बाय थ्री परसेंट एवरी ईयर स्ट्रेटेजी सिक्स बाय सिक्स बाय सिक्स दिस टू था thousand eighteen to twenty two five year program we wanted to reduce prevalence three percent every year what is six into six into six this is six beneficiaries six interventions and six institutional mechanisms it does not include six ministries please remember right so six beneficiaries six interventions six institutional mechanisms. then amount of iron folic acid supplementation children below 6 years 20 mg iron 100 microgram folic acid 5 to 9 year old child 45 mg elemental iron 400 microgram folic acid all other groups it is 60 mg elemental iron and 500 microgram folic acid what is different is the frequency of administration it is given by weekly in children below 5 years this is in the form of a syrup 5 to 9 year this is usually pink color tablet this is given on a weekly basis adolescents blue color tablet again on a weekly basis red color tablet for reproductive age 20 to 49 years again on a weekly basis but red tablet for pregnant and lactating mother is given on a daily basis for 180 days in pregnancy 180 days in lactation each 180 days in pregnancy 180 days in lactation also let's move further demography and health demography and health friends important formula and values sex ratio what is the formula who is in the numerator of a sex ratio who is in the denominator same thing for child sex ratio what is the current value in the country what is the current value in the country now when we look sex ratio numerator is yes number of females per 1000 males sex ratio of india is 943 so there are 943 females per 1000 males lesser females because female feticide is done right then child sex ratio is same but this is calculated in which age group 0 to 6 year female children Per thousand zero to six year male children, it is having a value of nine hundred nineteen in India. Nine hundred nineteen sex ratio, child sex ratio, nine forty three nine ninety. So formula you have to remember me. Literacy rate. Its denominator was asked in your paper. Literacy rate is. number of literates in india divided by 
नंबर ऑफ लिटरेट्स इन इंडिया सेक्स रेशियो इज ऑलवेज पर थाउजेंड सेक्स रेशियो इज ऑलवेज पर थाउजेंड डॉक्टर एम के लिटरेसी इन टोटल पॉपुलेशन एज सेवन ईयर्स एंड अप इन टू हंड्रेड वेयर लिटरेट इज अ पर्सन हु कैन रीड राइट एंड अंडरस्टैंड एनी वन लैंग्वेज ऑफ इंडिया टू रीड राइट एंड अंडरस्टैंड एनी वन लैंग्वेज ऑफ इंडिया यस डॉक्टर स्माइल यू आर राइट ऑल थ्री शुड बी प्रेजेंट रीडिंग राइटिंग अंडरस्टैंडिंग एनी वन लैंग्वेज ऑफ द कंट्री लिटरेसी रेट ऑफ इंडिया इज सेवेंटी फोर परसेंट हायर इन मेल्स स्लाइटली लोअर इन फीमेल्स स्टेट वाइज हाइएस्ट इन Kerala lowest in Bihar. Annual growth rate of India is one point six four percent. Every year, India's population increases by one point six four percent, making it a very rapidly growth phase for India. So very rapid growth phase. India's population doubling in time. India's population. Doubling time is roughly around thirty-five to forty-seven years. India's population doubling time is this. Crude birth rate, crude death rate. This is births divided by and deaths divided by. Denominator was asked in your paper. In crude birth rate, crude death rate. a question will come dr j for that crude birth rate crude death rate what is the denominator yes it is mid year population mid year population yes approximately crude birth rate is around 19 crude death rate is around 6 per 1000 mid year population in the country mch indicators IMR, MMR under five neonatal. Then also let's look at perinatal mortality rate and stillbirth, which are not visible on the screen right now. Very easy to understand if you understand. Remember them in a systematic manner. Infant deaths divided by live births in two thousand. Maternal deaths. Divided by live births into one lakh. Under five deaths by live births into thousand. Neonatal deaths upon live births into thousand. Perinatal period. No, Doctor Ted, this sex ratio one thousand twenty was found in National Family Health Survey. but that will be formally certified by census of india when it takes place next it has not taken place recently due to covid so whenever it takes place that will certify whether it is 1020 or not i, I doubt that female population has suddenly increased in last 10 years so much that 943 became 1020 not possible it will hardly increase by 10 20 points maximum perinatal deaths divided by live births in 2000 Still birth rate, still births by live births in two thousand. So all of them have a common denominator, live birth. So all of them have a common denominator, live birth. Oh, multiplier also is same one thousand. Only MMR is different. One lakh is the multiplier, not one thousand. This is as Doctor Karthik is asking. This is maternal mortality. Ratio. When we look at maternal mortality rate, that is maternal death divided by reproductive age group women, one lakh multiplier again. So ratio is per one lakh live births. Rate is per one lakh women in reproductive age groups. Ratio is mainly used in the world. most common cause of imr 
मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज ऑफ एम एम आई एम आर लो बर्थ वेट प्री मेच्योरिटी सिंगल बेस्ट आंसर प्री मेच्योरिटी पोस्ट पार्टम हेम्ब्रिज इज द कॉमनेस्ट कॉज ऑफ मेटरनल मोर्टेलिटी इन दंट्री पोस्ट पार्टम हेम्ब्रिज इज द कॉमनेस्ट कॉज ऑफ मेटरनल मोर्टेलिटी इन दंट्री फ्रेंड्स कैन यू टेल मी विच पॉपुलेशन पिरामिड इज डेवलपिंग कंट्री विच इज डेवलप फर्स्ट और सेकेंड विच ऑफ देम इज डेवलपिंग विच इज डेवलप्ड पॉपुलेशन पिरामिड इज ऑल्सो नोन एज एज सेक्स पिरामिड ओके लेट्स लुक एट दी यूट्यूब ऑल्सो येस मोस्ट ऑफ अस आर राइट फर्स्ट इज डेवलपिंग कंट्री सेकेंड इज डेवलप Why so? Look at first. It is an upright triangle having a characteristic broad base and a narrow top. Why it is broad base? More population is in younger age, zero to fifteen years of age. Thirty percent Indian population is children. Developed country, if you see. it is like this this is known as spindle shape where children are less older people are more but maximum population is in middle age group leading to a bulge in middle leading to a bulge in middle working population you are right dr yogesh right so developing country upright triangle broad base narrow top you have to remember these technical words friends whereas developed country spindle shape having a bulge in the middle family planning contraception if you look friends family planning contraception this is which iud number 1 which is number 2 iud can you tell me which iud is number 1 which iud is number 2 Okay, we are not getting correct answer. Surprisingly, friends. No, both are not same for sure. Doctor Jimmer, you are right. Doctor Zoom user also, you are right. Many are able to identify first correctly. First is copper T three eighty A. Mostly it has here also. Second one is copper T. Three seventy five. Now let me ask you, which of them is available in RCS program of India? One, two, both, none. Which of them is available in RCS program of India? One, two, both, none. Doctor Ajay Prasad and Doctor Parikshit and Doctor Arpita and Oppenheimer have given the correct answer. Actually, it is both which are available. Copper T three eighty A, ten years is the shelf life, whereas copper T three seventy five, five year is the shelf life. Copper T seventy three seventy five is the multi load copper T. Doctor Dhruv Sharma is also correct. Doctor Kapil Chaudhary is also correct. Right, friends? We move further. What is the chemical composition of malan malad? How much estrogen ethanol estradiol? How much levonor gestrel in this combined OCP of India? Malan maladi. How much estrogen? How much progesterone is there? How much estrogen? How much progesterone is there in malan maladi? Doctor Smile has given the correct answer fastest. Ethanol Estradiol is thirty microgram per pill. Levonor gestrel progesterone is one fifty microgram. Zero point zero three milligram, zero point one five milligram. Doctor Chiranjeev 
डॉक्टर स्मिथ क्रिश्चियन डॉक्टर भास्कर जी डॉक्टर प्रमजी प्रणीत डॉक्टर दीपाली पटेल है ऑल्सो गिवन करेक्ट आंसर फ्रेंड्स इफ यू लुकेट लास्ट दिस सेवन पिल्स इट्स कॉम्पोजिशन वॉज ऑल्सो आस्ट सी कॉम्पोजिशन वी डिस्कस्ड अर्लियर वॉज फॉर दी फर्स्ट ट्वेंटी वन पिल्स दिस कॉम्पोजिशन हॉर्मोनल पिल्स लास्ट सेवन पिल्स आर आयरन पिल्स हाउ मच आयरन विथ सॉल्ट हाउ मच आयरन विथ सॉल्ट डॉक्टर स्माइल डॉक्टर अर्पिता इज राइट डॉक्टर प्रकाश ट्विंकल इज ऑल्सो राइट दिस इज डॉक्टर यूरो इज ऑल्सो राइट सिक्सटी मिलीग्राम फेरस फ्यूमरेट सिक्सटी मिलीग्राम फेरस फ्यूमरेट टूडे इज अ वेजाइनल स्पॉन्च वॉट इज इट्स पर्ल इंडेक्स वॉज आस्ट इट्स पर्ल इंडेक्स वॉज आस्ट इट इज अ वेजाइनल स्पॉन्च विच कंटेन्स नॉन ऑक्सिनॉल नाइन स्पर्मिसाइड ऑल्सो its pearl index was asked what is the pearl index of today dr smile dr pulkit mandal is also right dr munender singh is also right 9 to 20 per 100 women friends i am only looking at your fmg questions again and again antra which contraceptive is this what is its dose what is its most common side effect three questions have been asked which contraceptive this is antra is the new name of dmp dipomedroxy progesterone acetate dipomedroxy progesterone acetate it is given in a dose of 150 mg intramuscular injection once every 3 months and major problem dr oppenheimer has told correctly irregularization of menstrual cycles irregular cycles friends what is shown in this particular image can you identify this method can you identify this particular method this is yes it is vasectomy but it is not conventional vasectomy this is not conventional vasectomy friends dr zoom user is right only dr jimmer and dr zoom user have answered correctly this is a type of nsv no scalpel vasectomy in which scalpel may be used in which scalpel may be used to make a incision or we can use a blade also small incision pull out vas deferens tie push back it is actually no stitch vasectomy it is a day care procedure no stitch vasectomy no stitch vasectomy right also friends you must know that what is the most common cause of failure of vasectomy what is the most common cause of failure of vasectomy can i say non usage of barrier methods by the client after vasectomy answer is no it is miss identification of vas deferens miss identification of vas deferens and how long a person should use barrier methods after vasectomy barrier method should be used for 3 months continuously post vasectomy barrier method should be used continuously for 3 months post vasectomy right friends okay friends let's now have a very short break of 10 minutes maximum then we will join you can also utilize this break for food food you can have while having the while the video is going on also washroom any other break so this is 10 minutes break it is right now 109 so we will start at 119 pm right so we'll have a break from the video later we will edit out this 10 minutes from the youtube session later we will edit out the 10 minutes video session 
so let's go for a break for 10 minutes okay we'll be back in 10 minutes maximum friends
ओके फ्रेंड्स आई एम बैक जस्ट कंफर्म जस्ट कंफर्म इफ ऑडियो वीडियो इज क्लियर ओके फ्रेंड्स आई एम बैक जस्ट कंफर्म जस्ट कंफर्म इफ ऑडियो वीडियो इज क्लियर इफ ऑडियो वीडियो इज क्लियर ओके फ्रेंड्स गिव मी जस्ट अ मिनट सो मेनी डिवाइसेस आर वर्किंग टुगेदर आई एम लुकिंग एट मोबाइल आल्सो ओके ओके फ्रेंड्स सो लेट अस स्टार्ट नाउ वी स्टार्ट विद एनवायरमेंट एंड हेल्थ यूजली वन टू और थ्री क्वेश्चन कम बेस्ड ऑन वैल्यू सो आई एम ट्राइंग टू कवर द होल कोर्स एज मच एज वी कैन कवर बेस्ड ऑन लास्ट थ्री टू फाइव इयर्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन मेनली कैन यू आइडेंटिफाई द इंस्ट्रूमेंट एंड वॉट इज इट यूज फॉर टू क्वेश्चन आइडेंटिफाई द इंस्ट्रूमेंट एंड वॉट इज इट यूज फॉर डॉक्टर स्माइल डॉक्टर अजय प्रसाद इज करेक्ट डॉक्टर अर्जुन डॉक्टर प्रसाद इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट आई एम लुकिंग एट द यूट्यूब ऑल्सो फ्रेंड्स क्विकली आंसर वॉट इज दिस इंस्ट्रूमेंट दैट इज देयर येस डॉक्टर यूरो इट इज करेक्ट यू आर दिस इज क्लोरोस्कोप एंड इट इज यूज टू असेस used to assess pre or restoral chlorine level in drinking water now quickly tell me answers to three questions of fmg what is the free recommended restoral chlorine level in drinking water in swimming pools and to kill cyclops how much milligram per liter or ppm minimum for contact period of 1 hour should be there in drinking water restoral chlorine swimming pools to kill cyclops yes dr abhishek kumar has answered all the three correctly it is drinking water minimum 0.5 ppm swimming pools minimum 1 and to kill cyclops minimum 2 ppm should be there doc euro is also correct dr saurab is also correct Doctor Saurabh, instead of five, make it point five, zero point five. That is milligram per liter or ppm. Doctor Amit Raj Anand, Doctor Shubham, you are also correct. Doctor Gaurav Kajla has given the correct answer overall. Friends, to find out chlorine demand, we use another instrument known as Horrock separators, in which there are six white cups and one black cup. so do not intermix these two things chloroscope is for free or restoral chlorine level horrock separator is for chlorine demand estimation okay upper image is not picked up by the software let me draw it upper image shows a thermometer with the red bulb at the end what is this thermometer with the red bulb at the end yes this is kata thermometer and what is the use of kata thermometer in public health this is low air velocity low air velocity absolutely right dr j but instead of velocity dr j make it low air velocity because velocity low or high can be measured by anemometer no cooling power is not correct because cooling power it was earlier used now it is used for low air velocity as dr gorav kajla has told lower instrument is sling psychrometer which is used for sling psychrometer is used for air humidity levels c 
sling psychrometer is for air humidity or moisture content of air what is shown in this image it's a type of scale or classification or index what is this yes this is used for air quality and this is known as naki national air quality index air quality monitoring is the responsibility of air quality is the responsibility of another fmg question air quality is the responsibility of yes dr pulkit is correct yes dr smith christian is correct this is central pollution control board air quality monitoring is the responsibility of central pollution control board dr navin agarwal is also correct good is when it is 0 to 50 satisfactory 51 to 100 101 to 200 is moderate 201 to 300 makes it poor it is in a sequence so easy to remember 301 to 400 401 to 500 delhi consistently remains in this season above 600 700 right so delhi is in, at another level and how do we calculate this you have to remember this classification they will give you this is the naki value 473 it is a type of severe category of air pollution it is based on particulate matter 2.5 particulate matter 10 carbon dioxide sorry carbon monoxide sulfur dioxide nitrogen dioxide ozone lead and ammonia eight parameters are used which of them is best indicator of air pollution overall single best answer best indicator of air pollution is sulfur dioxide now in your fmg paper friends they asked best indicator of air pollution and instead of giving only sulfur dioxide they give each choice combination of three three air pollution indicators so which three indicators together give the best quality of air pollution that is triple s sulfur dioxide smoke and suspended particulate matter so single best answer sulfur dioxide three best answer sulfur dioxide smoke suspended particulate matter triple s is the answer identify number 1 number 2 identify what is number 1 what is number 2 yes number 1 you are right all of you are right friends this is female anopheles now why we are saying it is anopheles mosquito because anopheles mosquito sit at 45 degree to the surface of skin while taking a bite so you can see the 45 degree angle approximately is visible 45 degree to the surface of the skin second you can see there are black spots on margins of wings so anopheles which transmits malaria black spots on margins of wings like this you can see anopheles in contrast culex and edis they sit parallel to skin with a small hunch around the neck and edis has white stripes on body and legs making it a tiger mosquito and ophelis is known as sophisticated mosquito number 2 this image is an ophelis larva no an ophelis larva has no siphon tube siphon tube is like our nose so it cannot breathe it comes and rests its body against the water surface directly take oxygen from water surface and its skin whereas culex and edis have siphon tube so they attach to water surface through siphon tube and rest at an angle to water surface this is for culex and edis so this we have to know can you identify the vector shown in this image easy question we have already discussed also 
This is yes sand fly. Biological name Flebotmus. Vector of visceral ischemiasis or callas are two questions. What is the habitat of sand fly? What is the insecticide of choice? What is the habitat of sand fly? Where will you find sand fly? No, dirty water is not the correct answer, Doctor Abhishek. Sand fly. Doctor J is correct. Doctor Tanuj is also correct. Yes, it is found in cracks and crevices of walls. Please remember, sand fly cannot fly. It can only jump up to a height of three feet, right? It only can jump. So, Doctor Naveen Agarwal is also correct. And the insecticide of choice is DDT. DDT is the insecticide of choice, right? We move further. Identify this vector. And what are the three major diseases transmitted by that? Is this redovid bug? As one of our friends says, this is redovid bug. No, it is not redovid bug, friends. Doc Euro is correct. Doctor Polki, Doctor Prakash is correct. This is rat flea. Vector of three important diseases: plague, Zoonopsila coeopsis is the most efficient vector of plague in the country. So rat flea, Zoonopsila, species coeopsis is the most efficient vector of plague in the country. It can transmit a rickettsial disease, also endemic typhus. This is the reason endemic typhus is also known as flea-borne typhus. And Dr. Ashwarya is right. Dr. Gaurav Kajla is also right. Shigrosis is the third disease it can transmit. Zinopsila coeopsis, a partially blocked flea. Is most dangerous. Yes, pneumonic plague. Doctor Shubh, you are right. Is through respiratory route. We are talking of bubonic and septicemic plague. Partially blocked flea is most dangerous. Mark the correct answer to this question, friends. Mark the correct answer to this question, friends. Okay, only one student has read the question correctly. Doctor Smile. Only Doctor Smile has read the question correctly. Doctor Smile only has read the question correctly. Answer is both dengue and chikungunya fever. So please remember both dengue and chikungunya fever. Such confusing choices will not come in your paper. I just gave you this question deliberately so that you are able to read it properly. So it is both dengue. And chikungunya fever. Just to make sure that you read all the choices correct in the paper. Many times, what we do, we read option A. Okay, this is the answer, and without reading B, C, D, we move forward. Even if you know the answer, just quickly look at the other three options also, and then move forward. Right? Okay. Let's move further. Nutrition, a topic which comes with one, two, three questions. Again, values, values, and values. So we start with first easy things. What is the richest source of essential fatty acids? Let's now pick up speed because this is easy. What is the richest source of proteins, saturated fats, essential fatty acids, slab flour oil? This is also the richest source of separately linoleic acid, arachidonic acid. It is also separately the richest source of polyunsaturated fatty acids. What is the richest source of proteins, friends? What is the richest source of proteins? Only Dr. Prakash has answered correctly. Richest source of proteins is not egg but soya bean. Egg has highest NPU, highest quality ninety six. Therefore, it is the reference protein of India. Quality egg. But quantity is the richest source protein. It is soya bean, forty-three percent. Doctor Smith Christian is right. Other students are marking egg 
which is not correct on YouTube also, friends. Egg is quality, soya bean is quantity richest source. Saturated fats, saturated fats, coconut oil. Vitamin C, avla, followed by guava. Vitamin D, richest source. Vitamin D, what is the richest source? No, it's not sunlight. Is this halibut fish liver oil? Halibut fish liver oil, friends. And iron, what is the richest source? Iron, richest source. Yes, dried pumpkin seeds. Dried pumpkin seeds. Richest source of iron. So I am putting many questions at one place. Jaggery is not. Jaggery is the cheapest source of iron, not the richest source. Dried pumpkin seeds, richest sources for iron. New nutrition guidelines. If you look at sedentary level male, moderate activity, heavy activity. Energy requirements in kilocalories per day. So I'm just revising. You also revise with me. For adult male, sedentary level is 2100 kilocalories a day. Moderate level 27. Heavy level of activity 3500 kilocalories a day. Corresponding values for an adult woman is 1900. Sorry, 1700 sedentary, 2100 moderate, and 2700 heavy. If examiner does not specify whether he is asking for a sedentary, moderate, or heavy, always mark sedentary answer. 2100, 1700. For an infant, it is first half, second half. How much is the energy requirement in first half of infancy? It is 550 kilocalories a day. Second half, it jumps to 670 kilocalories a day. I'm not giving you a lot of values, friends. These are the minimum values you have to remember from this topic. Then you must have seen a popular question again, 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 and again. What is the additional energy requirement in pregnancy and in lactation? Lactation, it is separate for first month, first six months and next six months. Pregnancy, additional energy requirement is 350. This is in again kilo calories per day. In lactation, it becomes. In lactation, it becomes. 620 kilo calories. First half of lactation, second half of lactation. Now friends, here, let us do one more thing. Because question was slightly asked in a different format recently. When we look at protein requirements. It is 0.83 gram per kg per day in India for adults. But when they asked recently, they asked in absolute number. How many grams of proteins will be required by an Indian reference male? How much proteins will be required by an Indian reference woman? So what is the answer, friends? Anyone remembers the answer? Total protein requirement for an adult man adult woman is 54 grams a day and reverse the digits 45 grams a day adult man woman when we look at weight of indian reference man woman see i'm looking at the chat box continuously friends it's good to see most of you are able to remember the values correctly protein requirement is not one gram per kg per day that is for european population indian population is 0.83 gram per kg per day when we look at weight of Indian reference man woman, it is 65 kilogram for man, 55 kilogram for woman, 65 and 55. Yes, one gram is not for Indian population. It is for standard European American population. 
Indian population, what you have to consume, what I have to consume is 0.83 gram per kg per day. Beyond this, solute load will not be taken up by our kidney and other organs properly. Right? Okay, then we move further. Okay, now we have been asked for adult man, woman, man, woman, pregnancy, and I'm also adding because it has been cut from the lower side of the slide for lactation. Separately for these new things. So let's look at that. Iron is measured in milligram per day. So how much iron is required? I think I'm looking at the answer. Dr. Nishant has answered correctly. First and correct answer has been given by Dr. Nishant. It is 19 milligram per day. Adult woman, 29. Pregnancy, 40 and 23 in lactation. This is in milligram per day. See, actual requirement is only 1 to 2 milligram per day, friends. Dr. Miswa also has given correct answer. Only 1 to 2 milligram per day, but iron absorption is only 5 to 10 percent in Indian diets, which is the only facilitator of iron absorption. Only facilitator of iron absorption is vitamin C. Everything else, even tea, coffee, inhibits iron absorption, right? Iodine, adult men, this is measured in microgram per day. 150 adult male, 150 microgram per day adult woman, 250 in pregnancy, 280 microgram per day in lactation. Vitamin A is measured in microgram per day of retinol equivalent. Retinol equivalent. It is 1000 in adult men, 840 in women, 900 in pregnancy, 950 in lactation, microgram per day. Again, I am not bombarding you with values. These are minimum you have to remember. Vitamin D is measured in international units per day. It is same for all. If you are struggling in remembering all these values, you will have to remember these underlined values which have been asked in our paper minimum so energy requirement protein requirement then you have to mention diagnose first condition diagnosed second condition diagnose first condition diagnose second condition first is yes fluorine Now, fluorine changes are first observed in, yes, treatment dose and normal dose are same, Dr. Ram, you are absolutely right. Fluorine changes in body are first observed in, fluorine changes in body are first observed in, no, you are right, teeth. But in your paper, all four choices were different tooth. Which tooth? Which tooth fluorine changes are first seen in the bodies? Upper central incisor. upper central incisor. So initially there are white specks in fluorosis. Later it becomes brown colored also. Second image is, you are right, Kessel's necklace, which is due to deficiency of Kessel's necklace is due to deficiency of, yes, it is vitamin B3 niacin, which is characterized by 4 Ds. These four Ds are diarrhea, dermatitis, dementia, death. Yes, Dr. Prakash has written all the four correctly. Diarrhea, dermatitis, dementia, death. Fifth is delirium. Sixth D is depression. Fifth D also now is there, delirium. Sixth D is depression. Dr. Nishant is absolutely right. Right? And friends, this is mainly seen in maize eating population. And what is this disease? Kessel's necklace is seen in the name of the disease is pellagra. Pellagra is mainly seen in maize eaters due to tryptophan deficiency. But major problem is excess of leucine. Therefore, leucine is known as not tryptophan deficiency. Excess of leucine makes it a pellagrogenic amino acid of India. 
Yes, Dr. Dharam Prasad has also written correctly. Dr. Kishore also, you are right. 60 milligram tryptophan is converted to 1 milligram of niacin on a daily basis. Friends, mark this answer correctly. Patients from different age groups came to clinic with illness. All of them are having edema. Consuming mustard seeds brought from the same local shop. This is the biggest clue they have given. People from same village, same clinical manifestation, eating same. It has to be a food adulteration disease, friends. And that is very right. Epidemic dropsy. Mustard oil is not the problem. But when mustard oil is mixed with Argimone Mexicana oil, adulteration, this leads to generation of sanguinary. Now, sanguinary inhibits oxidation of pyruvic acid, which leads to dropsy, edema, glaucoma, congestive heart failure and death are classical manifestations. Edema, glaucoma, congestive heart failure and death are classical manifestations. Examiner will have to mention them in the question if he wants a clinical diagnosis. So bilateral edema, congestive heart failure, glaucoma and death. Yes, it is Argimon Mexicana. You are right, friends. Okay. Ground nuts which are stored has poisoning. So which poisoning are we looking at? Stored ground nuts become contaminated with. Yes. Toxin is aflatoxin. Disease is aflatoxicosis. Disease is aflatoxicosis. And... What is the organism, friends? Dr. Drishya Nair is right. It is aspergillus. Yes, Dr. Anuradha, Dr. Dharam Prasad, Dr. Rishita Reddy is also right. Dr. Dipali Patel is also right. Dr. Jimmy Jaipur and Dr. Amitra Dhanand is also right. The move further. Okay. The middle image has got tilted by 90 degree by the software. These things may happen in paper also. So look carefully. Diagnose the condition. Which food adulteration disease is depicted here? Which food adulteration disease is depicted here, friends? Yes, you are right, Dr. Dharmagal, Thara, Dr. Karthik, Dr. Nishant, all of you are right. This is ergotism. Usually occurs in stored grains when they get contaminated. Dr. Misba is also right. And how do we detect them at household level by using a simple test? 20% brine solution or 20% we can say salt solution. What will happen if you put these suspected contaminated Cereal grains into 20% salt solution. What will happen, friends? What will float? What will settle down? What will float? What will float will be argon. What will settle down will be grains. So you let the upper part of water flow. Argon will be flown. And the remaining grains now you can dry and use also. So please remember, it not just helps you identify or make a diagnosis at household level. You can separate out also adulterant from the food item. So argot will float, grains will settle down. You have to remember this concentration, friends. 20% salt solution. 20% is the number you have to remember. Social sciences, a topic which comes mainly with the definitions and few simple things. Can you identify what is shown in this image? First question. Second question. It is based on three components. What are these? Third question. What is the score of the uppermost category? Three questions. So this is, yes, you are right. Dr. B, Dr. Episode, Dr. Shriya, Dr. Parikshit. This is modified. Kuppu Swami scale. 
also dr dakshpuri dr misma dr rishita reddy dr you know you are right this is socio economic status of urban families it is based on three components dr nishant has answered correctly income but this is for the entire family then education head of the family occupation head of the family next question what is the score of the upper class in modified tuppu swami scale it is 26 to 29 and precisely focusing on the question asked in your paper upper class is 26 to 29 in modified tuppu swami scale for urban families for rural families you only have to know the name of the scale which is used for rural families anyone how do we assess socio economic status of urban family yes two major scales are uday parik scale and modified bg prasad scale so you are right dr zoom user oppenheimer dr ankit and dr shubhash also absolutely we move further what is the definition three definitions asked in fmg paper culture also correct dr anuradha dr radhika singh dr praneet bhamecha culture acculturation internalization simple definitions which are asked absolutely right dr tanu ji are culture is learned behavior which is socially acquired learned behavior which is socially acquired acculturation yes dr happy soul is answered it correctly doc euro is also correct this is cultural content or you can say mixing of two cultures marriage trade and commerce between two countries education invasion of one country by the other internalization you are internalizing something this is adopting someone else's values and make them your own you like hard work in someone and you try to copy that you like honesty of someone you try to make them your own so this is internalization friends these definitions will be given in the question and then definitely choices will contain them family cycle now how many stages are there in a family cycle there are six stages anyone with confidence can say that he or she remembers all the six stages okay most of the students are saying yes so that is good to see formation formation is marriage till first child extension first child birth till last child birth i'm just going in a sequence you just have a look complete extension last child birth till first child leaves home contraction first child leaves home till last child leaves home so this is european american system indian system children never leave home right but we have to remember it first child leaves home till last child leaves home completed contraction 
लास्ट चाइल्ड लीव सोम टिल डेथ ऑफ अ स्पाउस एंड फाइनली डिजोल्यूशन डेथ ऑफ स्पाउस टिल डेथ ऑफ सर्वाइवर दिस इज ऑल्सो नोन एज एक्सटिंक्शन ऑफ दी फैमिली राइट नाउ लिसन टू दी क्वेश्चन आई एम आस्किंग रणबीर कपूर आलिया भट्ट विल बिलोंग टू दे जस्ट हैड देयर फर्स्ट चाइल्ड बर्थ दे विल बिलोंग टू विच पर्टिकुलर फेज ऑफ फैमिली साइकिल a couple has their first child birth recently yesterday today they will belong to which phase of family cycle 50% of the students are marking wrong answer in the choices in app also on youtube also 50% are correct it is extension friends my question was ranveer kapoor aliya bhat have had their first child birth till first child birth they are formation but the moment child birth occurs they will enter the second stage that is extension so please read the question carefully in the paper knowing the concept is not just sufficient you have to read the questions of your previous papers right so it is extension stage please be careful in the exam family systems four definitions new family sorry we'll start with traditional system nuclear family joint family three generation and new four definitions have been asked nuclear family what is nuclear family one married couple with or without their kids same example animal along with alia bhat right so this is nuclear family one married couple with or without their kids yes virat anushka is another good example joint family more than one married couples with or without their kids but where males are related by blood females are related to them they have a common kitchen common common pool of income commonly held property and some senior member is the head of the family three generation family is a type of joint family amitabh bachchan family where there are three successive generations amitabh bachchan abhishek bachchan is not three successive generation cerebral fa cerebellum family is which types cerebellum family is a joint extended family right so when there are lateral extension it becomes a ex lateral extension to a given family system right what is new family new family is family where marriage duration is less than 10 years targeted for contraceptive services under rsh program less than 10 years marriage duration health communication which is very much missing in doctor patient communication in the country right so let's look at that what is gather approach used for first question what is gather approach used for okay dr smile is correct Doctor M S Dhoni is correct. Your your names are very strange on Zoom. Some of you have T N M classification is a very different different kind of name, right? So gather approach is used for. Yes, most of you are right. Contraceptive counseling.
why do you hide your names on social media there is no need use your original name when you will score rank 1 you will not hide your name right gather approach is used for contraceptive counseling contraceptive counseling now it is actually a six step approach greet the couple ask okay dr yogesh is saying people are changing names because of girlfriends then be sure girlfriend has also changed name on social media because of you right g is greet ask the couple about their contraceptive requirement t tell them about available methods of contraception h help them choose the best method suitable to them explain the usage of method if failure occurs what to do what not to do and if they have understood expect a return visit earlier this was known as cafeteria approach in cafe like you get many on you decide right which food to eat so contraceptive is another topic where counseling is done and client is given the choice to choose the contraception then they you were asked in your exam how many members are there in focus group discussion group of people sitting on a round table and discussing a health topic what is the number of members in focus group discussion yes okay this is good to see every one of you is right dr drishya dr abhishek dr harjit dr pitta dr parikshit all of you are right dr j dr deepak dr tanuj dr kush you are mentioning the minimum value highest dr munindar singh gurjar also is right it is 6 to 12 persons out of which one is group leader and one is the recorder of the discussion dr bhargav rakholia is also right dr nidhi sharma is also how many members are there in panel discussion suppose this year examiner ask you a new question panel is a panel of experts so how many experts are there in a panel discussion recommended okay again good to see all of you telling all of you are telling me the correct answer four to eight experts discussing in front of an audience without any order without any order can you tell me communication of cancer prognosis popular topic of fmg is done by which method of health communication yes 4 to 8 is correct dr misbah dr nidhi dr anuradha dr bhargav yes this is spikes technique again it is a six step process just revise with me s setting up interview when you have time in your opd or what time or any other time you call the patient and family member to tell them about the cancer diagnosis and prognosis so set up time and date <coughs> p assess their perception many time patient is aware he may be having cancer therefore he has come to you i invitation to explain wait till they are ready to listen k now give them complete knowledge about cancer patient is in which stage chances of survival prognosis stages of radi cycles of chemotherapy radiotherapy money side effects everything patient and family members may show emotions in the end as a surgeon doctor you have to give summary and strategy this six step approach is sometimes also known as p spikes technique protocol of six steps spikes technique communication of doctor patient communication communication of cancer diagnosis and prognosis best used for breast cancer although it is used for any cancer it can be used for any adverse outcome communication but breast cancer this technique is really good then friends what is the method shown in the image which two principles this method works upon a female health worker has to teach women in urban slum about ors preparation best communication methodology yes demonstration no friends this is not role play many of you are writing role play please see carefully they are actually using it so demonstration of the technique step by step role play is like a street play nukkad natak but that is not here it is demonstration of a technique step by step 
it is based on two principles asked in your paper seeing is believing and learning by doing seeing is believing and learning by doing this definitely we should know right okay let's move further didactic socratic can you tell me which is one way method Method, which is two-way method of health communication. Which is one way, which is two-way. Because this is what students sometimes get confused in the paper also. Okay, I'm reading your answers. Okay, good to see. Everyone is correct till now. So maintain this correctness throughout your exam also in all these subjects, not just PSM. All subjects are important, right? So didactic is one way communication socratic is two way. like lecture like flannel graph like tv radio newspaper other methods are socratic or two way focus group discussion panel discussion symposium workshop interpersonal communication which is the best method of communication spikes we discussed gather we discussed all of them are two way communication obviously two way communication is better than one way communication what we are doing in this particular session is didactic or socratic what we are doing in this particular session is didactic or socratic this is socratic because i am asking you questions you are answering then i am analyzing it whether it is correct or not and then we are discussing that also right so this is socratic way of communication delphi method is not asked dr ashwarya it is repeat exchange of questionnaires from the experts so that you arrive at a common consensus among geographically dispersed different locations experts are sitting you send them questionnaire they'll fill it up send to you you tell them common answer which other people are saying again send the question again so it is consensus generation among geographically dispersed experts delphi method only aims paper it was asked occupational health which is the most dangerous particle diameter size for pneumoconiosis is it below 0.5 micron 0.5 to 3 micron 3 to 5 5 to 10 or is it more than 10 most dangerous particle diameter size for pneumoconiosis majority of students are giving wrong answer although we have discussed this many times in our previous sessions friends most dangerous particle diameter size is not the smallest but the second smallest 0.5 to 3 so please mark it correctly 0.5 below that is in Brownian motion, continuously moving in the air. With inhalation, it goes in. With exhalation, it comes out. So it's not so dangerous. Shipyard workers are prone to develop which pneumoconiosis? Latest question. Shipyard workers. Yes, Dr. Smile. Everyone is correct rather here. Asbestosis. <coughs> Sorry. What about bauxite miners? Bauxite miners, silicosis. What about glass and cement industry workers? Also again silicosis. What about textile industry workers? Textile industry workers are prone to develop bisinosis no not anthracosis dr bhaskar ji and dr smith christian textile industry workers bisinosis anthracosis is in coal miners bagasosis is in sugar mill workers sugar mill workers bisinosis is most commonly seen in which textile industry workers 
फार्मर्स स्पिनर्स बीवर्स पैकर्स फार्मर्स स्पिनर्स बीवर्स पैकर्स हू गेट्स मैक्सिमम कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ डस्ट टू इनहेल दैट विल बी द राइट आंसर फार्मर स्पिनर वीवर पैकर यस ऑल ऑफ यूर राइट इट इज स्पिनर्स Who spin the cotton yarn? So, Dr. Sharad is right. Dr. Abhishek Kumar is right. Dr. Miss Bai is also right. Spinners. Which organism is found in farmer's lung? Name of the organism was asked. You can isolate organism also from few pneumoconiosis. Which organism is found in farmer's lung? Anyone? Dr. Pulkit. Micropolyspora phenia. okay and also confirm that when you are answering these questions none of you is looking at the older notes because i forgot to tell you at the start in fmg exam they will not allow you to carry the notes inside so don't look at the notes and answer i am presuming all of you are answering from your memory right okay good let's move further farmer's lung yes occurs due to moldy hay but organism is micropolyspora phenia micropolyspora phenia mesothelioma is associated with which pneumoconiosis good good to see many maxim most of you are sitting without note asbestosis what about lung cancer friends lung carcinoma maximum associated with again asbestosis What about tuberculosis? If you have to mark one pneumoconiosis as the answer, you have to mark silicosis. Yes. What about progressive massive fibrosis? Maximum associated with progressive massive fibrosis is anthracosis. Anthracosis. We move further. Read this question. Mark the answer. dye industry bladder problems <laughs> most probable diagnosis yes aniline dye industry is associated with bladder cancer which is the commonest subtype you read in surgery also just integrate very right transitional cell carcinoma so dr mercy you are right dr nancy you are right dr sid you are right dr smith christian dr dipali patel sadaf mesbah chiranjeevi mani bharti all of you are right friends let's move further okay which is the by chance before going ahead which is the most common occupational cancer lung skin bladder leukemia lung skin bladder leukemia most common occupational cancer is lung skin bladder or leukemia 95% of you are marking correct answer but 5% are giving me wrong answer correct answer is not lung skin cancer 95% of you you are writing correctly in the chat chat box squamous cell carcinoma 3/4 Seventy-five percent occupational cancers are skin cancers. We have to mark correctly. Healthcare system of India. What are the four principles of primary healthcare? Four principles of primary healthcare include equitable distribution. appropriate technology just revise in your mind along with me community participation and intersectoral coordination intersectoral coordination now quickly keep on answering i'll keep on asking question stand pipe is an example of we have discussed in main videos mission videos examination and discussion sessions also stand pipe is a very good example of this is a question of your exam stand pipe is a tap put on a raised platform in the center of the village stand pipe is a very good example of 
yes dr anuradha you are correct dr jimmer you are correct dr kartik deshmukh you are correct appropriate technology ors appropriate technology what about asha worker is a good example of community participation 25 to 45 year old female minimum 10th pass 2 per 1000 2 per village 23 day training given by mpwn anganwadi worker should be a resident of the same village selected by village panchayat or gram sabha chinese barefoot doctors who actually were rice farmers are also an example of community participation <coughs> friends what are the eight elements of primary healthcare question always come all except remember them by the mnemonic elements so i'm just telling you one by one just revise with me in your mind no it's not 1 per 1000 we achieved 1 per 1000 in 2011 dr amit raj now it is 2 per 1000 2 per village in fact 2 per 1000 also we have achieved in 80% of indian villages when it will be achieved we will make it 3 per 1000 then is essential drugs most essential drug at a primary health center in india is paracetamol l locally endemic disease prevention and control whatever the local disease is their treatment should be available at the phc like if a phc is in bihar liposomal amphotericin b should be available for treatment of kalas e health education please be careful it is not primary education primary education is up to fifth class that is responsibility of schools it is health education which is given maternal and child health including family planning so maternal and child health along with family planning e expanded program on immunization so vaccination family planning is also a part of element of primary health care first is essential drugs l is locally endemic disease prevention and control third is health education m is maternal child health including family planning fifth e is ep expanded program on immunization n is nutrition again nutrition advice free food is not given nutritional advice then treatment of common ailments safe water supply and sanitation safe water supply and sanitation what is the population norms in plains and hilly areas these are very very frequently asked questions these five a sub center in plains a sub center in hilly areas what should be the answer is established for how much population one sub center in plains one sub center in hilly areas dr abhishek kumar pandey has also given correct answer dr smile dr parikshit dr sharad dr chiranjeev just uh, tilted the other way in plains it is per 5000 population hilly tribal areas 3000 primary health center 30000 in plains 20000 in hilly or tribal areas 1 lakh 20000 and 80000 for community health center also remember anganwadi worker 1 per 400 to 800 in plains 1 per 300 to 800 in hilly areas right so friends i am not just teaching you i am trying to see that you are able to remember and good to see that everyone is able to remember therefore class is going a bit slow because i am asking questions otherwise if i just keep my lecture keep on saying continuously like a didactic lecture most of you will not understand this is a marathon division session so all of us have to take part then you will never forget in the exam that is a guarantee from my side right okay let's move further then okay before for that let me look at another question which was asked recently again sub center what is type a what is type b type a type b it is based on 
Dr. Abhishek Kumar Pandey has given the first correct answer. There is no delivery facility at Taipei. There is a delivery facility at Taipei. Recent question, what is the difference in type A PHC, type B PHC? Type PHC type A, PHC type B. PHC type A is up to 20 deliveries in a month. More than or equal to 20 deliveries a month in type B. Because deliveries always take place at PHC because MBBS medical officer is there. So, okay, I'm looking at both the chat boxes. Yes, all of you are answering correctly. So I presume all of you know, we move forward. What is the population norm for Asha? I told you it is two Asha per thousand population or village. If this correct answer is not given in the choices, please mark the wrong answer one per thousand because it has not yet been updated on the Ministry of Health website and in National Health Mission website. So correct answer is two per thousand, two per village. If it is not given in the choices, then older answer you have to mark that is wrong although one per thousand or one per village. Please remember that. Right? Okay. Then MPW. If both given definitely two per thousand, that means your examiner is updated. Not like our health ministry, examiner is updated. Multi-purpose worker is located at sub-center. So one per five thousand. See, multi-purpose workers, male, female, both have all functions same. Which multi-purpose worker, male, female, health function is different for them? Multi-purpose worker, male, female, which is different? Dr. Shubh Patel has given correct answer. It is peripheral blood smear. Malaria slides both have to make, but it is the main function of multi-purpose worker male. Making malaria slides is the major responsibility of multi-purpose worker male. Please remember. Traditional birth attendant, one per village. She has a 30-day training period also. <coughs> Sorry. What we call as trained dai. Trained thy. One TB center is per one lakh population. One TB unit is per five lakh population. One ophthalmologist is per five lakh population or five CHCs. One I'm just trying to put all those questions which have been asked in your different exam, different times at one place. Ophthalmologist, if they ask you population wise, five lakh. If they ask you CHC wise, one per five community health centers. Doctor population ratio in India is per thousand population. One doctor should be there. Set center, survey education treatment. This is leprosy center in the country. This is for 20 to 25,000 population. Malaria microscopy center is also for same 20 to 25,000 population. So these are some of the population norms, friends, which are asked. I know I have given you a lot of numbers in these, but this is how this topic comes. Elements, principles, population norms are asked in extensive detail in the paper. SET is full form for leprosy program is survey education treatment only used in leprosy program. Health management. What is cost effectiveness analysis, friends? Malaria spray, it depends which one you are using. Melathion, DDT, everyone has a different frequency of spray, Dr. Shamshir. Cost effectiveness. What is cost effectiveness, friends? Dr. Prakash Pandey has given the correct technical answer where output of a health program is in terms of results achieved. Effectiveness is results. If you only look in terms of money, monetary benefit, that is cost benefit analysis. So I'll repeat, output of a health program in terms of money 
cost benefit analysis output of a health program in terms of results is cost effectiveness analysis right systems analysis simple definition was asked in fmg maximum students attempted it wrongly you have to attempt it correctly what systems analysis what is systems analysis friends dr smile has answered correctly this is comparison of two or more cost effective techniques look at two techniques compare their cost with each other results with each other choose the better one this is systems analysis network analysis it has two components but program evaluation and review technique this is actually sequence of activities in a health program first activity one activity two three four how much time they will take sequence of activities in a health program is known as pert program evaluation review technique and its second part is cpm critical path method critical path is the longest path shortest path fastest path what is the correct answer longest shortest fastest it is longest in terms of number of activities or duration it is in terms of duration most critical for the success of the program most critical for the success of the program is longest path that is critical now friends look at this question mark the answer yes hospital wants to know how much time each doctor is spending with patient on an average they want to increase or decrease number of doctors as per requirement to improve the quality of care improving quality of care is a misnomer actual word should be to extract more money from the population management technique they should use is management technique they should use is absolutely right work sampling right not all corporate sector i am saying but many corporate hospitals are doing like that so work sampling is sampling to assess quality of work in a hospital so it could be used for doctors group cod employees nursing staff or any other staff in the hospital sampling to assess quality of work how we can improvise upon that that is through work sampling Yes, in systems analysis, Dr. Prakash, you are right. Pap and Baya can be compared. Baya was found to be more cost-effective than Pap smear. It became the method of choice. Absolutely. Health planning. Okay, tell me the commonest questions from your paper. School health was recommended by which health committee of India? <coughs> Here, format of question is fixed. They give you recommendation in the question and ask. This is. which committee recommended this particular so can you tell me school health was first recommended by okay all of you are right dr parvez dr bijpan dr sharad dr akash so fmg exam level will be just like last four five papers lengthy questions but very simple lengthy questions there is a golden rule always read the last line you have to read the whole question but in the whole story they have given actual question will be in the last line read the last line again school health was given by bhor committee so how this question will come since you are asking how the fmg level will be dr j what they will do they will make a lengthy question there is a school near a primary health center it is delivering services for identification of health problems students are screened sent to the nearby phc they will write everything last sentence will be school health was first recommended by bhor committee so question will not change please remember question will not change school health was recommended by bhor committee not improvised not improvised dr nidhi sharma renuka roy committee 
actually gave the school health guidelines in 1961. Board committee said focus should be on school health, but guidelines were given by Renuka Roy committee. So school health guidelines. Remember we read desk should be of which type minus type. Per capita space to a school student, 10 square feet, one classroom for 40 students. All these were given by Renuka Roy committee. School health is the responsibility of subcenter, PHC, CHC district. School health is the responsibility of which health center? Subcenter, PHC, CHC or district hospital or medical college, school health, primary health center. Multi-purpose workers were first recommended by multi-purpose workers were first recommended by Dr. Sharad is right, Dr. M. S. Dhoni, Dr. Arjun, Dr. Smile. Okay, everyone is right, right friends. This is very right, Kartar Singh community. So located at subcenter key health functionary multi-purpose worker were first recommended by Kartar Singh committee, Dr. Subhash, Dr. Saurabh Raj, Dr. Bali, all of you are right friends. Rome scheme, reorientation of medical education, reorientation of medical education was first given by very right, all of you are right friends, Shri Vastava committee. Integration of health service were first given by Jangalwala Committee. Integration of health services were first given by Jangalwala Committee. And just to wrap it up, 3 million plan was given by. 3 million plan was given by. Some are saying Bhor committee, some are saying it's not in the choices, Chadha committee. 3 million plan. 3 million plan was given by Bhor committee. It said primary level should be 75 bedded. Secondary level should be 650 bedded. And tertiary level should be 2500 bedded. Total 3 million beds should be there for admission of patients in the country. PHC, 1 per 40,000 was the short term plan by Bhor committee. 3 million plan was the long term plan of Bhor committee. 1946, Bhor committee. We move further. Friends in international health, can you identify these two health agencies? Number one, number two. Also tell me location of their headquarters, number one, number two. Two which are repeatedly asked, WHO and UNESCO, no WHO and UNESCO is not correct. Dr. Parikshit is correct. Yes, these are World Health Organization and UNICEF. UNESCO logo you can check on Google is like a school building from front. Uh, European buildings, most of the buildings are like that from front. UNESCO. What is seen UNICEF? Next question. What is seen UNICEF? Is it child? Is it children? Is it care? Is it none of the above? Child, children, care, none of the above. It is children. Please be careful with these easy questions. United Nations International Children Emergency Fund. Headquarters of WHO Geneva. All of you answered correctly. UNICEF is New York. UNICEF is running Gobi Triple F campaign. What is O in that? Gobi Triple F campaign. Growth monitoring, O is ORS, breastfeeding, immunization. Growth monitoring, ORS, breastfeeding, immunization. Family planning, food supplementation, female education. Family planning, food supplementation, 
female education has been asked friends what are these target year how many total are there how many are direct health related four questions is first what are these total how many how many are directly health related target year these are sustainable development goals target year is 2030 all countries of the world have to achieve this there are total 17 goals and only one out of 17 goal is directly health related that is goal number 3 which agency gave sustainable development goals which agency gave sustainable development goals friends yes united nations under that united nations development program is monitoring the progress united nations development program. now under this target 3.1 is for mmr target 3.2 under goal 3 is for under 5 mortality rate and neonatal mortality rate in your exam recently they asked target 3.1 what is the target for mmr under sustainable development goal number 3 what is the target 3.1 for mmr anyone latest question yes it should be brought below 70 per 1 lakh live births i told you mmr is per 1 lakh live births all other are per 1000 live births what are the targets for under 5 mortality rate and neonatal mortality rate per 1000 live births it has to be brought below 25 and 12 respectively these three you have to remember friends these three values you have to remember less than 70 remember less than 25 under 5 mortality rate see targets are many dr j 3.1 2 3 every goal is having at least 15 to 20 targets they have only asked these three in our fmg and pg exams till now mmr under 5 and neonatal so therefore i will request you to remember only this three fmg has only asked mmr less than 70 and an mmr is neonatal mortality rate neonatal is up to 28 days right okay when do we observe world health day what is the world health day theme of the current year next year's theme has not yet this year 2024 theme has not yet been announced so last theme existing theme World Health Day is on seventh of April. Why? Because WHO was established in nineteen forty-five, but WHO's constitution came into force on seventh April nineteen forty-eight. So seventh April was declared Health Day, World Health Day. Theme for last year two thousand twenty-three seventh April was Health for All. slogan 75 years of public health 75 years of public health 75 years of public health bioterrorism agents category a b c there is no category d please remember category e most easy to spread most dangerous this includes total 6 i am writing on the screen can you tell me what are the six most easy to spread and most dangerous this includes smallpox anthrax plague botulism tularemia and viral hemorrhagic fevers viral hemorrhagic fevers out of them which is the most dangerous bioterrorism agent overall out of them which is the most dangerous bioterrorism that is smallpox most dangerous which is the most commonly used that is anthrax and which is the most lethal toxin wise is botulism i'll repeat 
most dangerous smallpox, most commonly used anthrax, most lethal bioterrorism agent is botulism. B is less easy to spread, less dangerous. C is very dangerous. These are new emerging pathogens. So what I will recommend, remember category A, category C. Category C is Nipah virus and Hanta virus. Anything else they ask will go into category B. Cetacosis, brucellosis, melidiosis, glanders. Water safety threat, food safety threat, any type of toxin or poisoning, rising poisoning, staphylococcal toxin, epidemic typhus, Q fever, Clostridium perfringens, all of them fall into category B. So I'll recommend remember category A, category C, all, all other into category B. COVID-19, if you are asked, COVID-19 will be in which category? A, B or C? COVID-19 is not a bioterrorism agent. Please remember. Otherwise, I would have told you if it belonged to category A, B or C, it is not a bioterrorism agent. Please remember. Right? It is not as per your choice. WHO has not included COVID-19 in any of the categories of bioterrorism agent. So everyone knows what China has done. But we will say it is not a bioterrorism agent. Nipah antivirus category C are new emerging they are very dangerous. They will not be called as category A or B. They are new pathogens which are emerging and they are dangerous. They are dangerous, very dangerous. Allied sciences. Can you tell me logo 1, logo 2, logo 3? Please write in the chat box. Logo 1 is radiation hazard symbol. What is the radius of inner circle? In radiation hazard symbol. What is the radius of inner circle in radiation hazard symbol was asked in national board paper. It is 1.5 R. Outer circle the radius is 5 R. Where R is the radius of black dot in the center. Where R is the radius of black dot in the center. So for exam purposes remember 1.5 R is the radius of inner circle in radiation hazard symbol. Please memorize this because it took me two months to find this answer somewhere, right? But these type of questions come. Second one, no one has answered. Second is the logo of. Yes, you can say poisoning, but more it is any type of toxic hazard. Any type of toxic hazard. Third is easy, recyclable material. Recycling. We move further. What goes inside? What is the final disposal mechanism of white category? What goes inside is waste sharps. Needle part of syringe, surgical blade, scissors, etc. After autoclaving dry heat, we send them for destruction shredding and finally they are sent to iron foundries or landfill or sharp pits. This is white category. When we look at blue, what does it contain? Disposal mechanism, blue category. Blue category is for glassware and metallic implants, including pacemaker, which was asked. And what do we do to blue category after autoclaving, hydroclaving, microwaving, or chemical treatment? Recycling is the final mechanism. Recycling. Please remember. Red. What does it contain? Final disposal mechanism. It contains contaminated recyclable waste. Contaminated recyclable waste. 
After autoclaving, hydroclaving, microwaving, we send it for destruction shedding. Finally, it is used in road making. Or we can use it for energy or fuel oil recovery. Remember white, blue and red and their disposal mechanism. Whatever is left will go into yellow category. Whatever is left will go into yellow category. So this will include animal waste, anatomical waste, microbiological waste, soil waste, liquid waste, chemical waste, discarded drugs, bed linen mattresses, disposal mechanism, incineration. So how to remember? Remember blue recycle, red plastic rubber waste that will be sent for road making, white is sharps that will finally go into iron foundry, whatever else is there as a biomedical waste will go into yellow for incineration. Expired tablets also incineration under yellow category doctor. Genetics. Can you tell me what is shown by this formula? Yes, Dr. Bridge has answered correctly. Hardy Weinberg law. Hardy Weinberg law is a law of population genetics. What does it say? Frequency of genes remains same from generation to generation. And it is only applicable on large populations, static populations, and random mating populations. Now, please remember if Mendelian cross breeding experiments you see, that which type of genotype is going to occur in the offspring. This is known as, asked in PG paper, Mendelian cross breeding experiments we use Punnett square. To predict the genotype of offspring, we use Punnett square. This is Punnett square. We move further. Biostatistics. Can you help me identify this diagram, friends? Now easy questions because only identification is asked. This is histogram or bar chart. This is histogram. Why it is a histogram? Why it is not a bar chart? Because there is no gap between the bars. So this is use technical words because technical choices will be given in the exam. This is quantitative. Continuous data. Histogram bars are attached to each other because it is quantitative continuous data. This is with statistical diagram. This is with statistical diagram. On top of histogram, we are joining these middle points by straight lines, multiple sides. So this is frequency polygon. Polygon constructed on top of a histogram. You will see histogram in the background on top of that there is a polygon. This is, I'm only showing you diagrams asked in your paper. Again, histogram in the background, but top points are not joined by straight lines. They are joined by a curve. So this is frequency curve. So I'll again repeat friends, look at the screen carefully. Histogram is plain histogram. Continuous quantitative data bars are attached to each other. If you make a polygon on top of histogram, frequency polygon. If you make a curve on top of histogram, it is a frequency curve. This represent line chart. Friends, what is the use of line chart in health? Line chart is used for single answer I'm looking for. Very right, Dr. Parvesh Sheikh has answered correctly. This is monitoring the trend of anything in the population incidence prevalence mortality of any disease so trend of a disease in a population is monitored by using line chart friends this is which statistical data diagram and what is it used for which statistical data diagram and what is it used for this is a quantitative data diagram scatter diagram which is used for finding correlation. Relationship between 
two quantitative variables. Relationship between two quantitative variables. So relationship between two quantitative variables you can find by using scatter diagram. Using scatter diagram. Uh, friends, when is your next class? Because we are likely to wrap up the session very soon in next 10, 15 minutes. What is the timing for your next class? It is at 3.45. Okay. So I'll take just five, seven more minutes. We'll wrap up by five, five maximum. We'll not take more than this, but I want to finish everything. Now look at the different types of scatter diagram, friends. Look at the different types. First two, bottom two, middle one. What is the difference? Look at the first two. Line is going straight with a positive slope. So this is positive correlation. What is the meaning of positive correlation? If you increase one variable, other will increase. So correlation coefficient R will lie between. Correlation coefficient R will lie between. Complete the answer, friends. Yes, 0 to plus 1. Example, height and weight. As the height increase, weight will also increase. Positive correlation. Look at the bottom two, lower two. This is negative correlation. Because if you see carefully, the line has a negative slope. Look here. Upper two have positive slope. Lower two have negative slope. Negative correlation. If you increase one variable, other will decrease. R will lie between minus 1 to 0. Vitamin A intake, if you increase, epithelial cancer will decrease. This example you should remember. Look at middle, this one. This particular scatter diagram, what does it show? There is no correlation. If you increase one variable, other will neither increase nor decrease. So R will be 0. Absent correlation. Now friends, in any type of relationship, three things are possible. If you increase one variable, other will increase. If you increase one variable, other may decrease or other will not change. These are the only three possibilities in any type of relationship. Therefore, answer this question now. Overall, correlation coefficient R lies between. Overall correlation coefficient R lies between. Yes, Dr. Alphaid has answered correctly. Minus 1 to plus 1. Which can have three possibilities. Positive, no correlation, negative correlation. Overall it lies between minus 1 to plus 1. This we have to remember, right? So scatter diagram is asked in so much detail. Can you identify for me which diagram is shown here, friends? Can I say this is a histogram? No, it isn't. Because there is a gap between the bar. So this is bar chart, which is discrete and qualitative data. So histogram is quantitative continuous. This is qualitative discontinuous, non-continuous, also known as discrete data. So bars are separate from each other. It is of three types. Can you identify what are these three types? First one is simple bar chart. Second one, which is asked in your paper always. Second one is always asked. Yes, each bar has a component. Component bar chart. And third is multiple bars, so multiple bar chart. But friends, there should be no confusion. It is definitely bar because everywhere you can see the gap between the bars. So simple bar chart, component bar chart, multiple. Dr. Chiranjeev has answered all the three correctly. Dr. Deepak Meena has also answered all the three correctly. Component bar chart has been asked multiple times in our papers exam. So we have to mark this correctly in our exam also. What is this diagram known as? Is this diagram technically correctly drawn? This is a pi or a sector chart. Is this correctly drawn? Answer is yes. Why yes? Two important properties of pie chart. Total should be 100%. 
and all categories should be mutually exclusive. They should not overlap with each other. They should be separate from each other like a pizza. Now, there was a question in your exam, very lengthy question. You are a doctor, a illiterate couple comes to your OPD. They are asking about their diet, balanced diet concept you are teaching them. Best diagram to teach a family with lesser literacy level about balanced diet is pie chart. Pie chart is best when you have to show proportions together. Pie chart is best for proportions when you have to show together. Now friends, weight of six students is given. Please calculate mean, median and mode. First we look at mean. What is the mean value of weight of six students in this class? What is mean? Mean is statistical average. How do we calculate? Total sum divided by number of observations. So total number of students are six. Add all six of them. What is the total coming? 300. So mean weight is 50 kilogram. What is median? Median is middle value in ascending order. Now, when it's already arranged in ascending order, these are the two middle values. If you get a single middle value, that is the median. If you get two middle values, take its average. 50 plus 50 by 2, 100 by 2. So it will again become 50 kilogram. And what is mode of this particular example, friends? Again, it is 50 kilogram. By what is mode? most frequently occurring population mode is most frequently occurring value in the distribution or the population most repeated value so 50 is occurring twice all other values are occurring once so i'll again repeat mean is the average arrange in ascending order middle values median if there are two middle values take its middle median always means single middle value and mode is the most frequent value in a data distribution BMI is which type of variable? Religion is which type of variable? Remember in the main videos, mission videos and quick revision videos, we have discussed the classification of variables. So body mass index is quantitative, qualitative, continuous, discrete, dichotomous, polyotomous. Yes, you can measure it. So quantitative, continuous or discrete. Yes, it has middle value, so continuous, and it has many values, so polyotomous. Religion, quantitative, qualitative. You cannot quantify, you cannot measure or compare directly, so it is qualitative. Continuous or discrete, there is no in between values, so it is discrete. Is it dichotomous, polyotomous? It is polyotomous. Many religions are there. Not only two. Dime is two. Poly means multiple. Right? Okay. Now friends, can you tell me p-value significant? p-value significant if what, what is its value? Dr. DB has answered first correctly. I am also looking at YouTube friends. Dr. Vijay is correct. Dr. Drishya Nair, you are also correct. But express it in decimals. Dr. Drishya, you are absolutely right otherwise. Dr. Bridgebhan Singh is also right. Dr. Drishya, you'll have to make it more correct. I'll tell you how. I'll tell you how. Dr. Chiranjeev is correct. Dr. Misba, you have missed it slightly, but answer will go wrong. Dr. Narendra, it's not alpha error. It is typhoon error. Okay, let me tell you. See, statistical errors are of two types. Type 1 and type 2. Type 1 error is more serious. Type 1 error is given by P value. P is the probability of type 1 error. Type 2 error is given by beta. So chances of type 1 error in a study is P. Chances of type 2 error in a study is beta. Reduce both. P also beta also. But P is more serious. So for P we have given a maximum value from our side known as alpha. You can say maximum permitted value. This is 5%. So for significant or correct results, 
ट्राई टू कीप योर एरर बिलो मैक्सिमम परमिटेड एरर Try to keep your P below फाइव परसेंट ट्राई टू कीप योर पी बिलो फाइव बाई हंड्रेड और पॉइंट जीरो फाइव दिस वॉज दी आंसर आई रिपीट अगेन टू टाइप्स ऑफ एर टाइप वन टाइप टू टाइप वन चांसेज आर पी वैल्यू टाइप टू आर बीटा रिड्यूस पी ऑल्सो रिड्यूस बीटा देन योर स्टडी विल बी गुड पी इज मोर सीरियस देन बीटा डेफिनेटली रिड्यूस पी because p is more serious we have given a maximum limit alpha 5% from our side so if you can manage to keep your error below the maximum 5% your results will be significant or correct so p should be always kept we try to keep it below alpha below 5% below 5 by 100 or 0.05 in your exam question asked was p value is significant if p is less than 0.1 0.5 0.01 and 0.05 read it very carefully Point zero five. Type one statistical error occurs when. See friends, in the main videos I have taken. This is actually a topic of PG exams. In PG, I take around forty five minutes only for this topic. Type one error is when your null hypothesis is true. Your new drug is not better, but because you get opposite results, you reject. remember this sentence null hypothesis is true but rejected this is type 1 statistical error opposite of this null hypothesis false but accepted wrong thing false is accepted by you that is type 2 statistical error okay friends now let us wrap up quickly with rapid fire round let us see how many of us can remember very fast exam you have to finish on time don't come out of the examination hall saying that i could not attempt the last 20 questions there is a possibility you may be knowing around 16 or 17 out of those 20 so maintain a good pace in the exam keep on looking at your watch and you will definitely do it in the right time generally fmg students they just get confused what i have been seeing is they know the concept they have worked so hard they get confused when seeing lengthy questions read the lengthy question read the last sentence you will thank me later because they will ask you a very simple thing in the last statement they describe such a long cohort study in detail in the end they are asking strength of association in a cohort study is given by relative risk if watch is not allowed dr ankit then definitely you should keep a tab on time i think there should be a wall clock there otherwise it will become very difficult or on the screen time will be there that will help you right okay timer will be there on the screen in case watch is not allowed what is the energy and protein content of breast milk yes it is 65 kilo calories per 100 ml and protein content is 0.9 to 1 gram per 100 ml you have to check how many of you are able to answer these questions correctly what is contraction phase of family cycle i give you complete 1 minute to answer this question coefficient of variation is not asked in fmg papers dr mahesh it is a doubling of correlation coefficient r square or coefficient of variation rather that is again not asked dispersion sigma by mu upon 100 standard deviation divided by mean into 100 they will not ask this is from first child leaving home till last child leaves home that is contraction then completed contraction till the death of first spouse and dissolution or extinction with the death of the remaining spouse if you want have a look at this again contraction first child till last child so first child leaves home till last child leaves home that is contraction phase so read this phase is very very carefully in a family cycle right okay dr amit rajanand is also correct dr sid is also correct rural areas suppose esi is not having any dispensary then they hire registered medical practitioner to give which type of benefit to the population question of fmg dr pulkit is right dr db is right esi generally has dispensaries hospitals everywhere medical colleges 12 are also there 
but in some areas if coverage is not there especially in rural tribal area they hire local registered medical practitioner to deliver services this type of benefit is known as yes dr subhash these are indirect type of medical benefit so they will give choices like direct patent medical benefit indirect patent medical benefit so dr amit raj anand dr smith krishan dr nidhi sharma it is indirect medical what is general fertility rate what is general fertility rate anyone no i am no dr abhishek it's not total number of girl children girl children is grr gross reproduction rate i am not asking gross reproduction rate i am not asking gross reproduction rate complete video of epidemiology is already in the app dr eyk complete video english separately hindi separately everything is there dr smile has answered this question correctly general fertility rate do not mix with gross reproduction rate gross reproduction rate is number of girl children general fertility rate is total number of live births divided by total number of reproductive age group females in 2000 total number of live births per 1000 women in reproductive age and what is net reproduction rate this is total girl children produced by a woman minus deaths or mortality minus deaths or mortality let's move further highest content of sodium is found in a loaf of bread canned soup tea or any other it is in bread very very high bread has very high this is a value based question you have to remember population 10000 trench method of sanitary landfill depth of pit is 2 meter what is the land area required per year yes this is one acre those of you who are able to remember such questions because these we cannot solve they have been calculated by the engineers one acre land is required for 10000 people trench method for one year minimum what is monica project for yes it is mon mon is monitoring of trends and determinants in cardiovascular diseases please remember urban heart is not for cardiovascular diseases urban heart is for health equity or inequities how many inequities are there in health monica project is for monitoring of trends and determinants in cardiovascular diseases how do you measure brightness of point source of light fmg question how do you monitor brightness of point source of light that is by candela actually when we say brightness of point source this is frankly luminous intensity micro psm integration what is the causative agent of yaws dr pankaj patel has given first correct answer dr mahender rajput is correct dr parvez dr subhash everyone is correct everyone is writing the abbreviation i am presuming all of you remember the full form i am presuming all of you remember the full form no one is writing the full form no dr prakash then all of you are wrong all of you are wrong then mm -hmm. no 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 such a easy question we cannot go wrong yours is caused by treponema exact name of the organism is pertinu 
it is the same family for as for syphilis syphilis is treponema pallidum india has eliminated yours therefore it may be asked in the paper syphilis is sexual or venereal transmission yours is through skin contact non sexual what is the name of the home based pregnancy testing kit provided by government of india name of the pregnancy testing kit 100% of students know this answer no one knew about yours how it is possible what you are doing guys nishche home based pregnancy testing kit home based pregnancy testing kit is nishche is nishche right okay friends this is a blank slide where i am writing what you have to write on your sheet all of you are definitely going to clear the exam this time see it's not about motivating uh, for you to say come on you can do it come on you can do it no you have been putting a lot of hard work believe in yourself trust yourself definitely you can clear any exam this is my number any query please direct to this number whatsapp only thing is i get 400 questions per day i am able to reply 10 to 20 i will try my best to reply right friends this is the fastest this is the maximum i could have covered in 5 hours otherwise psm is a course of around 35 to 40 hours main videos you will find 30 35 hours quick revision you will find around 10 hours then we had mission program again 25 30 hours then we had a revision program of 2 days this is the fifth contact where we are doing it in 5 hours five times you have revised psm with me इससे ज्यादा पी एस एम मुझे भी नहीं आती इवन आई डोंट नो पी एस एम मोर देन दिस राइट फ्रेंड्स सो बिलीव इन योर सेल्फ रिमेंबर वन थिंग यू आर वेरी क्लोज टू विक्ट्री डोंट यू डेयर गिव अप नाउ वॉट हैपन्स मेनी टाइम्स यू हैव बीन स्टडिंग कंटिन्यूसली फॉर लास्ट सो मेनी मंथ्स वीक्स इयर्स एंड सडनली बिफोर द एग्जाम यू स्टार्ट फीलिंग ओके आई कैनॉट डू इट आई कैनॉट डू इट दिस शुड नॉट हैपन दिस इज द लास्ट लैप नाउ यू हैव टू बिकम उम बोल्ट this is the time you should be able to do it right and you can do anything this is me only two days ago 7000 kilometers away from here this is in indonesia so i was planning to extend my tour but your class was here so i cut it down and came back right but you clear the exam we will travel together right this is so revise notes revise notes not this pdf dr shamsher you have revised everything with me in 5 hours it's better to revise your original picture original notes thank you so much do well in the exam keep reminding yourself that you have put in a lot of efforts so exam result has to come in your favor thank you so much for all the students who joined us on youtube also friends see cerebellum the this particular course was meant for only app users but this time we made a promise to students we'll try to keep this for all fmg students whether you belong to some other platform we don't want you to miss the exam if you can clear the exam with the help of any platform we are more than happy right but remember cerebellum is best paper will be just like last time dr iron dome uh, it will not be easy but if you just can align your mind to the thought process that lengthy questions are not difficult you will find it easy also don't expect that psm if there are 35 questions i will be able to attempt all the 35 correctly you will be disappointed make a target of i will be able to attempt 25 to 27 correctly this is more than sufficient for you to clear the exam also during the exam if there are in line 5 or 6 questions which you are not able to answer correctly don't worry there will be next 20 questions waiting for you to be attempted correctly that should be kept in mind in the exam keep patience in the exam be confident that you can do it 
do not read the question many many times do not change the answer many many times if you have to change answers if it is permitted two three questions you can change maximum but if you are changing 20 questions that answers to 20 questions that means you are going in the wrong direction do not overthink over analyze single questions single one liner questions 40 to 50% questions will be very very easy in your paper 20 30% questions will be moderate you read the question properly you will get the answer 10 to 20% questions will be totally new for the first time they are not going to decide anything for you rest 80% is easy right pdf will be available in the telegram group you can share from your friends also right so the team will prepare a annotated pdf also and they are sharing all pdfs are available but i have realized in last 20 years of teaching if you open your mobile right now it will be having more than 100 pdfs you never 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 are going to read them sessions you attend live definitely help you revise in a faster time frame next time you are revising any session you can do it at a slightly higher speed maybe right yes as one of your friend is saying there is a 7 gb of pdf it's not going to help what you are is there in your notes what you have remembered is going to help you in the exam thank you so much dr narendra mujhe bhi aaj ke session mein kafi maza aaya and it was really fun because all of you were able to answer majority of questions correctly so it was not easy part i prepared it was exactly how it appears in your paper telegram group is by the name of cerebellum academy dr amit rajanand your friends will help you if shubham uh, kindly share the link of telegram group in the chat boxes please share the link of telegram group in the chat boxes telegram is telegram name should be changed to pdf gram it is only for pdf right they just keep on circulating pdfs pirated movies everything right but useless thank you so much friends i wish all of you clear the exam i am sure all of you will clear the exam and then you can definitely give me a party we'll meet somewhere thank you so much thank you so much go thank you five hours sitting continuously is not easy i know many of you may have missed your food also go back take a lunch shubham from cerebellum team has shared the link of telegram group in the chat box also thank you friends thank you so much your time is really worth something do not waste any time till the exam give the exam clear the exam this is the biggest hurdle in your professional career after that problems will be there but this is the biggest hurdle in the career of a fmg student so be confident you will be able to do definitely right thank you so much dr munender singh gojar dr amit rajanand dr mithu kumar if you have to solve pyqs i think minimum fmg i will say last 5 years if i am looking at neat pg i will say last 3 years but fmg i will say if possible last 5 years 10 papers at least you should do thank you so much dr deepak meena thank you dr amit raj anand dr umesh kumar chauhan also thank you so much thank you dr pulkit ab jao padho rest karo pehle to thoda rest kar lena take a break and then study thank you dr shubham dr mahender rajput dr smile dr ashwarya you will definitely score great dr ashwarya don't worry i am confident dr dras dr vivo dr abhishek kumar pande love you dear dr sid dr kush everyone take care stay safe stay healthy एग्जाम से पहले पेरेंट्स की ब्लेसिंग जरूर लेके जाना टीचर की ब्लेसिंग तो हमेशा रहेंगी पेरेंट्स शुड बी नंबर वन पेरेंट्स की ब्लेसिंग लेके जाना इट विल डेफिनेटली हेल्प टेक केयर ऑल दी बेस्ट थैंक यू प्रणाम दोस्तों नमस्ते